your tummy. She wants to abort your baby. She wants to abort your husband's baby. Run, run. Go and tell him. Is that how you are? You are a demon. You are the demon. You are a witch. You are the witch. You, are witch. you, are witch. you, you, will, you want to eat her baby. You rot in hell. You rot in hell. 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 Are you mad? Jesus, what? You know Jesus. Are you beautiful a pregnant woman? Don't even ashamed of yourself. Baby. What's that noise for? Huh? Chideka. Chideka slapped me and hit me on my tummy. Why? I don't know. I don't know what I did to her. I, I was making your food. Your food was on fire. The next day she came to the kitchen and she she rushed and carried your food and put it on the floor. And the next day she, she started attacking me. What did I do to her? Is she not or something? I think she's mad. I think something is wrong with her. Where is she? She's there. Where is she? You see your days are numbered in this house. Where is she? Where is that evil woman? She's here. She wants to be Where is that evil woman? She's here. Are you mad? I'm asking you, are you, are you drunk? I'm asking you, how could you? How could you be this wicked to the extent that you want to harm an innocent baby out of jealousy and envy? Let me tell you something, and listen good. The day you try this wrong bitch again in this house, I will make sure I throw you out since you don't want to respect your own self. Why are you so jealous of that girl? What did the little girl do to you? I'm asking you. And I will do it again! And again and again! If you don't stop this nonsense! I'm warning you! Respect yourself! <laughs> this slab, eh? Oh, when it's swag, it's not, it is swag, it's shots! Born again slap! Abosa! On the born again face! Injede, hurry up, we're late, yeah, eh? I'm Let here, I'm here. Injede. Yes, what is it? Are you not bringing Phil along? I left him with the nanny. Can we go? Why? What do you mean, why? Injede, how can you leave your son with the nanny on a Sunday afternoon? For goodness sake, James. That is the reason we pay her at the end of every month. It's her job. For real? Are you being serious here? Today. From Monday through Friday, you are always at work. And on Saturdays, you still leave the baby with the nanny. Then on Sunday, which is the only day that you're supposed to have time for your baby, you're still leaving him with the nanny? Why? Why are you doing this? What do you mean, why? Why are you asking these questions? I already explained it to you. Let me tell you something. You're first a wife, a mother before a chartered accountant. First thing first, okay? Don't misplace your priorities. Oh, please, James, we're heading for a party. A friend's celebration, actually. We shouldn't, we shouldn't go into the venue with long faces. This shouldn't be an issue. Let's just go, please. She disgusts me, though she's my wifey. Makes me angry all the time. Living behind her responsibility makes me feel so bad. Yeah, honey, what's the name of this gospel artist again? I don't want to regret Honey? What is it with you these days? Why do you like picking offense at any slightest opportunity? Is it because of Bill? Listen, I just, I felt he will be safer at home. Well, I can see you prefer temporary freedom to real life obligations. James, will you stop with this? It's not true and you know it. It's not true. Eh? You see, let me tell you something. Your own son is not incompetent. Yes, that's how it seems. The child that you carried in your womb for nine months that made you went through labor. 
I don't know why you like abandoning him to someone else because you want to go out. Eh? It's the only child inconvenience in you. Let me know. That is not it. I just... I wanted him to be with Veronica. I just felt he would be, you know, happier and safer with Veronica. That's why I left him with her. Mm. Yes. That is not safe with you? It's... It's not like that. But, but what? Tell me now. You have no explanation. Eh? All you want to do is jump from one table to another. Greeting friends and people that don't even know you that much. Eh? So you think the boy is going to inconvenience you. The best thing for you to do is just to drop him with someone, anyone at all, so you have your, the opportunity to move around. That is not good. I'm telling you. That is it. Alright. I am sorry. It won't happen again, please. I'm truly sorry. Okay, that's how I should let you know. Jets Beyonce. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> what is this? Your dress is amazing. Thank you, but it is not a dress. Okay. It is a body. Mm -hmm. Drop the ego, <laughs> girl. Please. Drop it. Actually, it is called transformation. Uh -huh. Anything put on this body transforms to elegance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously. You can also call it killer. Okay. Yes, so you know, you know you wait, let me explain to you. Okay. Anything you put on this body turns into sexy mm -hmm. and elegant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We uh -huh. already know. <laughs> we already know. <laughs> <Just> stop us. <laughs> I'm telling you. Just stop us. But my sister, let me tell you, you said two of you. People cannot intimidate you. We know. <laughs> Make another guess I don't drop one, no. But see, I sexy guy. Hey, hey, you, you, are, you are. You are. You are. <laughs> Chester, that, Chester, that, Chester, that, yes. Mr. body magic I heard about is in worry. I went there for this body sculpting. Guys, they are amazing. Wow. It's called All This Luxury Empire and Spa. Are you serious? Yes. We need to visit. We need, we need to be there. What are you doing here? Uh, uh, Jesus. I I'm just having a little chit chat with my friends. You know, catching up on some just it was too loud inside the party so we decided to come out here too. so what i'm asking you will you keep your mouth shut when i'm talking i've been looking for you everywhere oh look and cranny i couldn't find you and here you are gossiping talking about irrelevant issues oh i see this is the reason you refuse to come with your baby right so you can stand up and move around discussing rubbish with your friends here is this the reason I brought you here? I'm asking, is this the reason you came to this place with me? Will you go inside before I open my eyes? My eyes are shut before I open them. Get! Go inside right now! Just go. Just see later. Go. See. see you later, girl. Bye! Is he mad or something? I don't understand. Madam Veronica, ma, how are you? I'm very well. And how is my boy? He's fine. He's sleeping upstairs. Did oh. he cry? Just a little. No children are neither here nor there. Cry small, play small. It's usual and I'm already used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for everything, huh? 
And I see he's getting used to you. Of course, he'll keep looking at me like that, trying to get used to me. He's beginning to see me as if I'm his grandmother. Of course, you are his grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, let me quickly see him. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Please. Do you need something? Let me get you. Okay. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand. Display for. <laughs> oh. oh the scam called marriage. Zane, no utter of respect for her at all. He couldn't even think that oh, she was with her friends. He just humiliated her like that. But I've always told you that marriage is modern day slavery, but he wouldn't accept it. But that is the truth. Mencha. Mencha. All men are the same. They assume leadership over their wives. They expect their wives to serve them. Just like a slave would serve his master. I don't get it. What are you saying, God? Come on now. So men are responsible. Yes, they respect their wives. You don't use Judas' misfortune of a husband to judge other men. No, you can't do that. Okay. Just mention one husband who does not treat his wife as a slave. And I will say no more. Just one husband. Mm -hmm. Go on. One thousand and one men out there. That's just for the name. Respect their wives. One day. I'm listening. Oh, please. But that's the truth. I reach my foot. Please, let's talk about something more important. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what's up with you. Oh, I'm tired from this party call. Baby, it's, it's normal for them to cry. It's inconvenience now because of the water and everything. Where is his mother? She's downstairs. She's in the messy Doing what? Watching television, of course. Watching TV? Sorry. Is it that you can't hear the baby crying or what? I I heard him crying, but I know why he's crying. Your baby is crying upstairs and you're here sitting comfortably watching TV. What is wrong with you? Just can you calm down? He's crying because Madame Veronica is giving him a bath. Every baby cries when they are bathing. Your son is crying in the hands of another woman and you're here sitting down. What is wrong with you? I'm asking you, is this how your mother brought you up? Excuse you. Why would you use such language on me? What are you doing here? I'm asking you, what the heck are you doing here? Well, your baby is crying in the eyes of another woman. For goodness sake, James, Madame Veronica is not another woman. She is my baby's nanny. I pay her, I feed her. I mean, her job here is to take care of my son. Why are you shouting and wanting to bring the roof down because she is giving him a bath? For your information, her job begins when you're not around. The moment you are around, it is your sole responsibility to take care of your baby. That makes you a mother. That's what makes you a wife for crying out loud. Exactly is the color of your problem. I should be asking you what's the color of your untrained manners. It's eating you up. It is your laziness that is eating me up. Nonsense. anything else.
What is it? What is it? What do you mean, what is it? James, when was the last time you touched me in this house as a woman? When? Mark your cards. Well, I will remind you. It's been a month, for goodness sake, and each time I come to you, you always find a way have, to... Do you have a problem with that? I do have a problem with it. I am your wife, for goodness sake. Oh, really? Yes. And a wife is known only for demanding sexual satisfaction from the husband? Huh? Wait a minute, what are you saying? Are you implying that I haven't been carrying my duties as your wife in this house? Have you? Well, yes, I have. James, I... Hey, don't James me! Lie down and sleep, okay? And let me do the same. I don't have your time this night. It's enough and get adequate rest, okay? And the multivitamin the doctor said we should give to him twice a day. Don't forget. I won't forget, madam. Um, is there anything else? I, I, don't, I don't think so. But if there is anything, just call me on the phone. I will. Okay? How ah, about right. the baby's food? Oh, my bad. Um, there's still some in the store. Okay. Once that one runs out, just go to the store and collect a new one. Okay? I will. I'll yeah. see you later. Take you care. Take care. Bye-bye, okay. ma. See you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, ma. Bye. Bye-bye. In today, mm -hmm. that your husband's behavior yesterday was totally wrong. Wrong is an understatement. It was nothing to write home about. How can he talk so little to his wife in a public place? It was obvious that he was angry with you. But he could have eaten it or even pretend about it. Where is his respect for the woman he calls his wife? You're still talking about respect. You know, I don't understand my husband anymore. He's been acting strange lately. I'm beginning to have a feeling that he's seen another woman. Exciting. That was what I concluded from this whole thing. The only reason we can give you such attitude publicly was that he is seeing another woman. Good. Don't quote me. Are you saying there is no man on earth that doesn't cheat? Is that what you guys are trying to tell me? Yes. You know the most annoying part of this whole thing is that my husband hasn't touched me in a month. <laughs> A whole month, if not two. You see, when I tell you girls that marriage is a scam, you guys will think it's just a slogan. Hmm? How can I go stay for a whole week without bashing, let alone one month? Me that is single. Look at you, a married woman being so starved. And you're telling me, eh, maybe I should consider moving into one man's house all in the name of marriage. So I can be treated like trash like this? Over my dead body? No way? Good. Anyways, don't listen to her, please. Just get to find out who the woman is, then try to confront her husband. Please, don't listen to her. Just forget her, please. Don't listen to her. Lisa, give you people one guard for us all.
James. James. What is it? We need to talk. Can't you see I'm sleeping? Please don't disturb me. I have to go back to bed. Okay? You have to go. James, let, 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 you know, you listen. If you think you are going to sneak into this house and lie comfortably on that bed without any form of explanation to me, then you are in for some joke. What is going on? What is it? Can't I have peace in my home? Well, even the Bible says that there is no peace for the wicked. Where are you coming from? My office. It is 1 a.m., James. And your phones were turned off. My batteries were flat. You couldn't charge with your, with your office charger or even your car charger. I didn't bother using them. Are you kidding me? You left me in the house since morning, knowing full well that I will be worried about you. Yet you did not bother to charge your phone, even when you could. I am begging you, please. I had a terrible day already. I need to rest my brain so it will function well tomorrow. I need to go to bed, okay? Who is she? Excuse you? Yes, you are quite excused. And don't pretend like you don't know what I am talking about. Who is she? I don't have anything to say. James, a woman is gradually taking my place in this house and you are telling me you have no word for me? You no longer eat my food. You no longer touch me. You keep late nights. We, we even barely have a conversation. What is going on? James, you need to explain everything to me because I am sick and tired of this whole thing. I, it, it, it's really getting me... I don't... James, what is going on? It's obvious you don't need me in this room. <clears throat> what, what? James, you will need to give me an explanation before you step out of this room. Please get out of my way. I am not going to leave your way. Get out of my way. James, you are not going anywhere. Out you won't my... move an inch from this out place. Out of my James, way. James, you are not going to leave this place. What? You, you want me to hit you? <laughs> Has it got into that? You want to hit me? Go ahead and hit me, James. Hit me! I'm sick and tired of this whole drama. Hit me, James! Go ahead! This whole thing looks like a setup. You won't get me. James, what? James, you, you, you. What have I done wrong? Where, where, where did I go wrong? What have I done to deserve this form of wickedness from you? Okay, please, I apologize. I beg you, even, even if I have wronged you, any way I have wronged you, I am sorry. This is too much for me to bear. I'm a woman, for goodness sake. Please. James. Madam. Oh, Guinea. Tell me, I've been asking you. We got I told you it's nothing. I'm fine. And you're crying. You can confide in me. You said I'm like a mother to you. And I'm like a mother to you. In fact, I am your mother. Please. It's my husband. Your husband? My marriage. Everything is crashing. I don't... I don't know what is going on. Don't cry like that. Listen, Ando. My husband is no longer interested in me. Already? How did you know? Listen, Ando. You know, sometimes men are like that. Yes. See that woman he's saying. Forget about her. Your husband will come back to his senses and come back to you, his wife. Are you sure? I am very sure. I know it. I am older than you in marriage. I know better. These things happen in marriage. That woman he's saying, according to you, because me, I don't know. 
It's not his wife. Very soon he'll be tired of her. And he'll run back to you. Two keys to cry. He'll be seen who's the girl. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. You're truly a mother. God knows I can never take such rubbish from any man. Never. In fact, they never born that man well that want to deal with me. They never born him well. Seriously. And seriously, this is really bad. 1 a.m. No, no. Hmm. With his phones off, definitely he was with another woman. My question is, who is she? Where did my husband meet her? She's out there. Question with all this latest woman in the streets. You ask where he met her. Unbelievable. Girl, you are unbelievable. God, you sound like you don't know my husband anymore. We all know that he's a shy person. He hardly even speaks to you guys. I am still wondering how my husband gathered the guts to walk up to a stranger to have a conversation with her. What do you mean? Mm? He has clients, he has colleagues, he eats in a restaurant, he visits bars and beer parlors. He has a lot of women in his circle who are no longer strangers to him. And they meet all the time. So stop that shallow thinking and dig deep to find out who the husband snatcher is. And you think it is necessary for me to start digging? Unless you don't want your man and you don't want your marriage. Or you can find yourself a sweet, handsome, young bubble that will be giving you everything you want, mm -hmm. including financial support. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. I don't support that. I don't support that. Cheating on a man, please. But you will encourage her. Mm -hmm. You will encourage her to endure a cheating husband. You will encourage her to continue in pains, says starved, no attention, no care, public embarrassment, while her husband is somewhere enjoying himself from one woman to another. As for me, gold, if you cheat once, I will give you return match 10 times. That is one for you, 10 for me. You got no time to play. Must we be awake to know what time he comes home? Huh? I am. Um, I need your advice on something. Me? Yes, please sit down. On what? Because. Do you think it's necessary I. I try to get information on the woman in his life. Here, yeah. my daughter. Men are promiscuous and polygamous in nature. Above all, they need peace. You cannot take it away from them. No matter what a man does, he needs peace. He does not want a woman that will knock him at every given opportunity. I... <laughs> what are you saying in essence? What I'm saying in essence is that there's no need digging out the woman he is seeing or not seeing. It will bring problem to your marriage and to your home. Pretend everything is fine. 
and you see your husband come back to his senses and apologize for everything he has done wrong. Don't you want to be petted? Um, but I, I am sex starved. I need care, I need attention as a woman. Madam. Ah! Don't let another person hear this thing you're saying. In this part of the world, women do not have a say in anything that has to do with sex. You wait for your man to come to you and not the other way around. Because we are seen as lesser gender in this part of the world. It is a man's world. When a man cheats, in fact, a man has the license to cheat severally and nothing happens. The marriage is intact. The relationship is intact. But once a woman cheats, hmm, your marriage ends and you are seen as an ashawo, as a failure. Is that how you want people to begin to see you? Even when you see your husband cheat, you just put your eyes like this so that you protect your marriage and keep your home. Which is more important? Is it the sex or your baby? Your marriage? Which is more important? I am an older woman. I am telling you what you will do to preserve your home. Go to bed. Like I told you earlier, is a man's world. Hmm. Let me go back to my chores. Yes. Uh, I need to stop it now. We've had three rounds already. Hmm? Let me relax. I'm exhausted. Okay, who can do this tomorrow? Hmm? James. James. Hmm? Wake up, James. What is it? Who is Anita? <sighs> hmm? Is it? Anita. Who is she? I don't get you, Anita. What are you talking about? You were mentioning her name right in your sleep. While I was touching you, you were, you were calling another woman's name. Who is she? What is it? James, you haven't said anything. You haven't answered me. Who is Anita? I don't know what you're talking about. Why would a woman be backward in her thinking this 21st century? Why? A man is free to cheat and nothing will happen. But when a woman cheats, it's something else. In this generation. No, now. If a man can cheat, a woman can cheat as well. Yes! You cannot be unfaithful and you demand faithfulness from me. No way! I think we should focus on this woman. Who is she? Who is Anita? The focus should be on the man's advice. Because that is where the problem is. Yes, a lot of women are being treated like slaves in their matrimonial home. Because of this archaic mindset. Hmm? They say a man needs peace, right? So he messes around, I should pretend. He drinks and gets drunk. Womanizes and calls back home anytime he chooses, and I should not confront him because he needs peace. 
Hmm? What kind of useless mindset is that? What about me? Am I a lot of wood? Don't I piece you? Don't I? Exactly my point. Rubbish. You know, they say they want women to give men peace. Who gives these women peace? Oh. Do they have their own peace? Like, I don't have any. They expect me to give peace to my husband when he hasn't given me any form of peace. He comes back home late. I am sex starved. But I barely have a conversation with somebody I call my husband. And then they want me to give him peace. Where yeah, one gets the peace from? Oh. When I don't have peace. Exactly, my sister. Nonsense peace. Hmm? That's why one useless man who wants to keep me in the house to treat me like a piece of rag all in the name of marriage. They never bond that man. No, they never bond that man. Never. I, I just think we should just find out who she is. Confront that old fool. He either tells you who the other is or you bring home your own boyfriend. Simple. No. You do me, I do you. No. God, look at this. No, no, no. One, no. one. No, God, please. I do not accept that advice. You can't encourage your friend to cheat on, on her husband now. But you can encourage her to be dying in pain. Is she not a woman being too? But that's not the best thing to do. Please, just shut, shut it. Just shut it. Don't cheat on your husband. Sweetie, don't if he cheats once, give it to him ten times over. Back to back. That's okay. Beautiful woman like you. Mama, mama why is you play? You the allow one. Say what's going happen. Ah, they never born away well, though. What be set of human beings? You know, at this, at this point, I am confused. I, I can't even explain what is going on. I can't think straight anymore. I don't know what to do. What is confusing you? A certain prince in the Bible needed an advice because of the prevalent situation at that point in Israel. He went to the elders to seek for the same advice. And the elders told him what to do. He went to his friends to seek advice over the same matter. They told him what to do. He came back and forsook the advice of the elders. And did what his young friends told him to do. And you know the consequences? He lost the throne of his fathers. The young people's advice is all about war. It's all about revenge. It's all about fighting. Which leads to regret, pain, sorrow. But the elder's advice is all about dialogue understanding peace which in turn leads to joy everlasting do you know what the young people told him to do because the elder said if you want to rule in this kingdom rule with peace dialogue listen to the problems of the people but do you know what the young people told him to do your father led with soft hand, rule with iron fist. Flock people, do not listen to anybody. At the end, he lost everything. The ball is in your court. Play it wisely. Makadea, mama. I don't even know what to say to you, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. And may God bless you. May he bless the works of your hand. He will continue to keep you here in good health for me. Hmm? Thank you. Amen. Thank you very much. You know you're like a daughter to me. I will never deceive you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you once more. You're welcome. Uh, let me go and check. The baby. He must be awake oh, by now. Okay. And I'll bring him to you once he's awake so that you, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Mama. All right. Hey. Oh.
Honey. You're welcome. Please come in. Where's your baby? I left him with the nanny. And what are you doing here? Waiting for your return to, to welcome you home properly. You shouldn't bother about me. What you should be bothered about is having the interest and in taking care of your baby. Uh, uh, oh, hold on. Listen, you're my husband. I ought to look out for you as well. You, I just wanted to welcome you home properly. Moreover, I made your favorite. Something really nice. I'm not hungry. She disgusts me. Cheers. Though she's my wifey, she makes me angry all the time. Leaving behind her responsibility makes me feel so bad. Oh, I don't want to regret. See here. Yeah, see mommy. <laughs> Madam, you are crying. I'm tired. Huh? Of what? I am tired. What have I done wrong? What have I done? He's refused to eat my food again tonight. I am sure he has gone over to Anita's house and he's had enough to eat. And he refuses to eat my own meal. Don't talk like that. It's not a reason for you to be tired of fighting for your home. I told you before, God's time is the best. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't... I don't even know where to start from. I am thinking of going... You know what? I'm just going to quit my job and get to find out who this who this rival is. I need to know who she is. I need to fix this whole thing. But that is not the best option here. I've told you to be patient. Keep enduring. God will touch your husband's heart. Eh? Time will tell. In fact, everything will be fine. Let me just touch him. I am a woman. I need to be taken care of. I need attention. Someone needs to care for me. I am tired. Madam, I told you that might take a long time. Just keep praying. Someday God will touch your husband's heart. You should be paying attention to your child. Your child is crying. You're not even giving him any attention. You're busy dragging your husband. Is husband more important than your own child? Uh, this is the best thing you should do. Concentrate on your child. So Father, you said in your word that what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Father, with a heavy heart, I come before you to tell you that what you have joined together, this blessed union is at the edge of breaking. Anita, whoever you are, wherever you are, may you be consumed and exposed by the Holy Ghost fire. I send the Holy Ghost fire to you this minute. You Delilah, you serpent. Every spirit of adultery in my husband, father, I take it away right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Devil, you are a liar. You shall not bring sadness to my home. You shall not bring tears to my home. Sugar baby, what am I seeing you again? You have not told me what you want from me. Baby, how do you mean? 
We just finished staying together last night. And you're asking me when you see me again, as what? My boyfriend, or what? <laughs> what if I choose to become a Oliver Twist? Then, another 200k, and we are good to go. Of course, you know money is not my problem. It's my problem. You have my account details, don't you? Is here. Um, my colleagues are in the office. I have to go and see them. Is she your colleague? Question. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. This girl, she's so beautiful. She's gorgeous. Elegant personal child. I swear to God, if I should have this kind of girl. I will not chase after any other woman again. This kind of girl that I need. Woo! Damn it. You don't know how excited I am that I came to work before you today. Oh, please, my darling. You didn't. Hmm. I was here before you. Hmm? Where, where were you? I didn't come down. I was downstairs. I saw you when you drove in. Huh. Oh, oh good. Which guy like this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is very anyone. Mm -hmm. Babes, she been at that downstairs and first come here. Did I see you? Mm -hmm. Stop lying now. Come on. Okay. I was inside that white bed you packed beside. Before talk. Mm -hmm. You know, while I was inside my car, still trying to get my bag before I came down, mm -hmm. I noticed that there were two people inside that car. And the head movement when I see. Mm -hmm. No good. Yeah. Go! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Move your quash. <laughs> Don't worry, what are you doing? Don't marry in Jide Pico. We're just discussing. Mm -hmm. Ah. You are who? Hey. Mm. Mm. Why are you boy? Oh god. He offered to pay 200 k mm. after I viewed him. And I spent last night at his place. He offered to drop me at work this morning. This is what she's saying. This is your guy and the mess and so on. Ah, God. Don't you want to get married? Hmm. So you don't want to settle down in one serious relationship? Right? Yeah. You know, you're not a serious relationship. Uh -huh. Seriously. You know, yeah? Abe, back on side. My darling. The guy. Likes you. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, it's again. <laughs> he likes you. Ah, go call my mom goes in and <laughs> Seriously. Hey, baby. Come on. It's not like that. See, just give me a little time, okay? This is my problem with you. What do you mean by time wait for no one? Eh? What, what do you mean by that? You, you, you. See, I'm planning to do what you ask me to do and you're telling me time waits for no one. Anita, listen to me, I'm talking. Listen to me. This is my problem with you. My problem with you is that you are too stubborn. I've agreed. Yes, I agree to do it, but I am asking for a little time. Do you think it's easy? No, do you think it's easy for a man to just stand up and make a decision of divorcing his wife? What if you were the one in her shoes? Please, let me breathe.
care. Damn it. Babe, I will pay one minute to have that girl. I like her. She's so beautiful. She's my spec. One million naira. For my friend. And I can do the transfer right here. And now. Hey! hey, hey, hey. You see this life, eh? You know balance. This life, no balance at all. What's that? Because she is a married woman. She is a married woman. And so? Seriously. Do you know how many married women have slept to what? What are you saying? Huh. Her husband is leaving her. He hasn't touched her in three months. The woman you're looking at, she is so starving. Jehovah, how? Please, babe, connect us. Connect me and her. In fact, you see, I'm going to double the money. Mm. I'll double it just to have her. We'll double the money. <laughs> okay. Once money is involved, I can do anything. So I'll get her for you. That's my girl. Why are you talking? <laughs> it's alright. So where are we heading from here? Um, I will just take you home to change to something else. Then get your work clothes for tomorrow. Mm. So when we're done tomorrow morning, I will drop you home. You still want more of me and yet you are I am my friend. You know you're so sweet. You mean we know that. Gosh. You know that where is your girl that I do my license you want to have. I don't do love shit. Let me feel free. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> James, I am not going to let you step an inch from this room. You are going to sleep on that bed with me. You are going to make love to me. For goodness sake, I am your wife. Get out. Listen, I am not moving an inch from this place. Get out of my way! And you are not going to the sitting room. It is not meant for sleeping. This is where you should sleep. You and I. I'm tired. I don't feel it. Get it in your skull. I don't feel a thing for you. Even if you go new totally right here, I will not get an erection. That is as bad as it is. So let me go. You lie, James. You lie. You will get an erection. James, you would sleep with me. You would touch me. You would touch every part of my body. You will. What? It's either you touch me tonight or you kill me. Because you are not going to leave this room without touching me. Now, woman, listen to me. If you are sex starved, get yourself a dildo and leave me alone. Satisfy yourself. You can without me. Let me go. I should get myself a dildo. Your wife? James. I have been married to you for three good years. I don't... I don't appeal to you anymore. Am I that ugly and unattractive? This Anita girl, is she... Is she way prettier than I am? Has she got more curves than I do? Who bewitched you, Jane? Stop to me, look at me. Look at me and tell me, look at me in the face. You got married to me. Who has done this to you? Who? Come out of this body. Come out. This is not the man I got married to. You have failed in your wifely duties. That is it. Because I employed a maid to take care of our baby. Is that it? It's okay. I'll get a dildo. If that will make you happy. Better. Better. So, can I go now? She disgusts me. Though she's my wifey. She makes me angry. All the time. Leaving behind her responsibility makes me feel so bad. Oh, 
I don't wanna regret ever making her my wife. Seriously. You know your husband said you should get yourself a dido. I was shocked to my bone marrow. I couldn't believe it. But this is getting out of hand. But why are men so wicked and heartless? Why? But nobody is saying you should not cheat. But refusing to touch his wife is out of it. Other men do cheat and still have time for their wives. So why is it so different? No. Why will he have to cheat on a woman who is too faithful to him? Why? You know what, Njide? Don't worry. You remember that guy that dropped me off yesterday? The Yahoo guy? Exactly. The guy is mad over you. I have tried to, to talk him out of it, but the more I try, the more he put pressure on me. He's even willing to pay me the sum of two million naira. Jesus Christ. Just for me to get you for him. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Being truthful to you, my dear. To what? Two million. What? Just to get you for him. I swear, this thing, I swear on everything I hold in this life. What? Hmm, my dear. That yes. guy saw you and yes. saw heaven. This life is not balanced, though. One is there refusing to touch his wife. Another man is there is ready to offer anything just to have her. Ready to pay anything. He might as well be cheating on his girlfriend or even his wife. No, 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 no. Joe doesn't do girlfriend and he is not married. He pays for every sex he has. Every. I can attest to that. Wow. Just think about it, my darling. This is temptation. Not to get it's a so good pink. Temptation. Maybe yours could be 5M, Tammy M, who knows? <laughs> With better servicing down there. <laughs> my dear, you need to do something before that place starts. Please, can we leave the talk of that yeah okay and let's find solution to yeah, our husband please guys see you don't get badging on me like that don't ever try it you are not my boyfriend hope you get that well i didn't come for you i came for your friend in jail hi you look so beautiful and elegant personified my name is Joel. Hi, um, she already told me your name. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. If you don't mind, I would like to have a word with you. Um, unfortunately, I can't have a conversation with you. As you can see, I am married. Um, so I'm not interested. I'll see you girls later. All right? Go. I'll Take see care. you later. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. Fast player. Mm, focus. Uh, take me out of here or else I'm going to get a car. Rubbish. If I'm getting to the car, let me take you home. Don't make me change my mind. No woman will turn my offer down, and I'm serious about it. One just did. No, come on. She's just doing the normal initial crack, crack. That's what we we'll call it. She can. You know what I mean? She can. Not when money is involved, not when she sees money. You contracted me to do a job for you. Why did you decide to do it yourself? Why? What happened? You're asking me. Yes. You wanted to floor my hand just before your colleagues. That's not nice. A big guy like me. Come on, I have to floor yours too. Don't be crazy. I don't understand. Was I not the one that brought you to the office in the morning? Yes. But you don't have to come and pick me up again without telling me. But you know your car, are you? I know. My colleagues at the office, they have cars. And I can as well pick a taxi. Uh. 
Okay. I'm sorry. Admit my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. Okay. That's my girl. So, where am I taking you tonight? Are we going clubbing? Are we hanging out? Oh, please go and get yourself a girlfriend. I'm really? not your girlfriend. Yes. Did you just say that to me? Yes, I just did. Meanwhile, I needed to get to another earring. The one I wore earlier got spoiled. So, I needed to just fix it back in my bag now. Very important. You love good stuff. So I'll get you good. If that's all you want. Serious? Yeah. <laughs> that's so nice of you. Mmm. Mmm. You have to if you want the good. Fine. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, oh my goodness. Really. Oh, babe. <clears throat> What's up now? How are you doing? <laughs> are you still coming over? Stop now. You know I don't like to stay alone. I'm bored and lonely. Oh. <laughs> I should go get myself a man. <laughs> You're so funny. You sound like man is one commodity that you see in the, on the shelf of uh, shelves of shops a big please come now okay do you want me to come over who joe another guy hey don't worry don't worry don't worry don't worry enjoy have fun i'll manage bye bye good night it's okay Good. Go for it. Changing men like rapper. <sighs> Just look for a movie to watch and. shower and go to bed. Well, good night. Oh, Madam Veronica. Mm -hmm. Please come. Okay, I'll sit down. Is there any problem? I'm not at this time. I just want to thank you for everything you do in this house. Yes. I want you to know that I do not take it for granted. Yes, I know I pay you your salary at the end of every month, but I can't even equate it to the services you've rendered to me here. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. You're welcome. You too, I appreciate you as well for giving me the opportunity to serve you. That is because I see you as my mother. You know, since my mother passed away after training my brother and I as a widow, my life was never the same until you came along. You changed everything for me. You've, you've made life so easy for me. Thank you once again. Thank God for everything. But you're not sleeping. It's late already. I am, um, I'm waiting for him. Why? Why are you stressing yourself to wait for him? You should go to bed. It is not necessary. Hmm? Of course. You're already adding salt to already existing injury. By staying up awake to wait for someone that you don't even know where he is. 
have told you to keep praying for him. One day God will touch him and he will change and come back to you. Trust me. Just one day. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me quickly go shower so that I can go rest. You know, feel with in fact is a handful. <laughs> it's a, it's okay. I'll be upstairs myself too. Why don't you go together? Uh, no, I just um I need some time by myself. Uh, I'll be upstairs in no time. Okay. Make it fast. Okay. Alright? Alright. You're welcome. You know, James, lots of men out there would give an arm and a leg just to be with me. But here you are treating me like a piece of shit. Why? God. You see, I was always your cousin with trouble. You get me of trouble. Uh, okay, trouble. it's, it's, it's all right. <sighs> James, I just want us to talk as man and wife. I know this whole problem started since I employed Veronica Zelani here. But I need you to understand that I love this woman as a mother. Apart from her working as a nanny, she, she's like a mother to me. You know my story. You know I don't have a companion. There's this relationship between Veronica and I. A mother and daughter relationship. But if, if her presence here will continue to cause problems between us, I will terminate her appointment. I'll let her go. I'll take the baby to the office every day as you have always wanted. Don't bother. It is too late already. Too late? I don't understand. You heard me. James, you, you need to come out straight. Do you want a divorce? You want to divorce me? Spill it already because what else to think? into the shower. I'll be in the office shortly, okay? Too late as a what? Hmm? Too late for what exactly? What, what audacity? What impetus? Hey! My sisters are really pulling through a whole lot of bullshit! All in the name of marriage. Nonsense. You know, I was actually going to talk to him about this morning. I didn't even realize that I hadn't gone to bed until 5 a.m. 
I don't sleep. Imagine that. 5 a.m. this morning. Because of one useless man that calls himself husband. This is unbelievable. Um, what nonsense. Um, I want to know. Too late as in trying to divorce you or to bring in the woman. No, if I were you, I would divorce that man now, now, now. Yes. I mean, you stand to, to, to benefit a whole lot of things from him. He's going to share his thoughts into two. Yes, you already have a good paying job. You will take care of your son. Then you go out there and enjoy yourself with different young, sweet, succulent, handsome young men mm -hmm. that can give it to you five rounds, morning, afternoon, and night. Now you say go tire. Okay, you got nothing to lose. Can't you see? Uh, please, AJ, they don't listen to this girl. Please, see. It's boring being a single girl. Yes, it is never easy. Loneliness will kill you. Bob, Bob don't we kill you. Okay, look at me. I have a very good apartment. I have a good job. I have a car. But I'm incomplete because I need a man to complete me. Oh, so because she needs a man, she should not go and kill herself. Hmm? Even when that man is treating her like a piece of rag. Come on, girlfriend. Think about it. Um, Live when you stay calm. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Um, Look at your fresh face. Leave when you stay calm. But divorce is not the option. There are other options we haven't mentioned. Like what? Dialogue. Bringing it all party. Maybe his best friend, his pastor, his parent, somebody he has much respect for. Trust me, you cannot pretend that you don't crave for a man to call a husband. So please, you don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. Oh, why not we invite his God to? Hmm? Girl. Girl, we will court, we will court. You see this one? You don't court. Move on with your life yeah. before he will start to pan your beast at your face. You yes. So no court. Hmm. You don't court. Ah, you know she's always giving bad advice. So don't listen to her. Please. I've said my own. Young, able-bodied men, they outside, they wait for you. Don't listen to her. I'm telling you, they ask you up and down. Don't listen to her. My dear. The reason I brought you here is because I don't want Sharon to hear what I'm about to tell you. I don't want that her holier than thou attitude. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't want oh, it. Okay, good. What is it? It's about drill and um, babes. Please, good. You know that is the last thing I want to hear, right? I mean, you shouldn't be talking to me about that guy. Not at this critical point in my marriage. Can you listen to me first? Can you? Okay, I'm listening. I know he promised to credit my account, yes. But that's not why I'm here. It's not. I'm here for something else. And what is that? Why are you here? I want to save your marriage. Can you just stop making me laugh? What do you mean you want to save my marriage? How? Mm -hmm. You know, there's a saying that goes, one doesn't value what he has until he loses it. Hmm. Do you know the fastest way to command a man's attention hmm? is to make him feel jealous. Yes, make him feel jealous. James is acting the way he's acting because he feels he's not dragging you with any man. Just imagine making you feel as if there is another man somewhere <laughs> and he will be in your shoes right now is a visual thing right there it works properly if i get you correctly you are asking me to cheat on my husband 
simply because I want to make him jealous. Is that it? Not exactly. It's just a game. Pretend as if there is someone else. Seriously. Come on, hang out with Jewel. Come back very late. Even the last morning. Let him keep your absence. You know, let him just feel that you could be in another man's arms. My dear, that feelings, that feelings has a way of resetting a man's brain back to normal. Believe me, it works all the time. You know, you, you do have points. So, how do we go about it? I mean, what am I supposed to do? Hmm. You will drive to my house, hmm? and then I will change you into something sexy. We will hang out with you all till midnight. You can pass on at my place or at his. Ha! 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 Good. My darling. If a little cheating can make you have your man back, what is there? After all, he's been cheating on you all this while. Come on, think about it. But I'm not saying he must do anything, though. What if it happens? What is there? Huh? Well, let him come back expecting to see you, and you are not there. Believe me, it works like magic. He will feel all these pains you've been feeling all this while. Trust me, it's going to work and it's going to make him start praying for you even more. Just try it out, seriously. You know, you're a genius, right? I know. An evil genius. I know. Jesus, how did you come up with this? That is why I'm cold. You shouldn't be called gold, though. Oh, oh God, what? The devil said, Oh, please! <laughs> 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 no, but I think, I think I like it. It's going to work. You know, men, they always feel they have the upper hand because we're keeping quiet. By the time we start showing them one or two, my dear, their brain can't even contain it. Hey, let's go. Let's get back to the office. How about a wine? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Uh, Um, good, 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 good. My yes. darling, mm -hmm. you didn't bring me out here to come and sneak. Eh? I mean, where is he? He should come so that I can leave. Oh, come on, darling. Relax. He's on the way. Coming. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you are okay? Because you are beginning to manifest like somebody who's. Baby, you are not, you're not in the spirits. If you're in the spirit with me, oh my goodness gracious me. Mm. You will not, oh, you will not be jittery. You will relax. It will calm your nerves. Please. I don't, I don't, I don't want it. Please, let's just do and go. I'm tired. Hmm. Ah. You're tired. You want to go where? So that your useless husband hmm? has turned you into a piece of rock. Nothing more. Oh, oh my God. word. I can't believe this. So this you for real. You're welcome. Thank you, my darling. You look so beautiful. Come here. Stop. Oh, please, go back. <laughs> I oh, do like a baby. <laughs> mm. Looks so beautiful. Thank so, you. So, have you taken it? Why are you taking it out? That's what I want to drink. No, we'll have nice drinks there, uh, like champagne, we'll have a uh, Hennessy, or even red wine. I think red wine is. Uh, uh, no, no, no. There's no need for, for any of those drinks. I need to go. It's, it's, it's very late. I need to get back home. Good. A nice drink for a pretty girl like you. Come on, I'll get you something nice. Maybe the right one, okay? Oh, my darling, please. I want dumpling, please. Dumpling. Of course, my darling. I'm coming. <laughs> okay, baby. I you trust know, you, my I'll darling. I'll get you something nice. Of course. <laughs> mm. Does this guy realize that I'm a married woman? Eh? Stop now. Good, stop. You need to be in the spirit, my love. Forget about that, your. Useless husband. Enjoy. That guy is the real thing. He can service that place. <laughs> hey! 
Okay, Banchara. <laughs> By the time he's done with you, you don't need to cover it. You'll be begging him for more. Trust me. <laughs> Vero? Veronica! Sir? Come. How can you call me? Yes. Where's my wife? Hmm? My wife. Where's she? Ntide, right? Oh. She hasn't come back from work. Though she called me to tell me she'll be coming back late. This is past 11 p.m. already. She's not yet back. Maybe you should call her on the phone. Well, I've been telling her number to no avail. It's not going through. It's not going through? Why? Is it that it's, it's switched off or not connecting? Never mind. We can go back, OK? Thank you, sir. You look so pretty tonight. I mean, I've not seen a gorgeous, good looking girl like you all my life. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Your husband must be a good fellow and a lucky one. Yes, he is. I wish I can swap me for him. But wishes are not horses. Yes, wishes are not horses. Something you're disturbing my peace. No problem. Sharon, where's your friend? You mean your wife? Yes. Where's she? She no. She's not. She has not come back from work and I've been dialing her number to no avail. It's not going through. Um she and Good left together earlier today from the office. Good. I've been calling her as well. Yeah, she's not taking her calls. As a matter of fact, she is even cutting my calls. Okay. Let me just call. I'll call her now and get back to you. Let me find out what I'll call her. I'll call you back. All right, please do. 
place to have a wedding, okay? Thank you. Where is Njide? ringing a while ago. Injide. Good. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. It better not be. Who will I tell this man now? Oh, maybe I should just switch off my phone and go to sleep. No, that does not speak well of me as a good girl. I'll just call him and tell him the number is not going true. I, I just, uh, I can't, I can't reach them. The number is not going true. Yes. Okay, maybe we'll just wait till morning. All right, sir. I will still be trying your number out. Thank you. So, how are we going? Are you girls going home or are you coming with me? Whichever way is whatever you want to do, just take me out of here. I want to go. Um, you know what? Just uh, take her home. Me, I will drive myself. Good, are you sure you're fine? Because I know you have been drinking all this while. Are you sure you're good? <laughs> I'll be smoking as well. Uh, I am fine. Let's go. You know what? Um, let's drive with my car, right? So I will get I'll get you a room in my hotel. So I'll come pick your car in the morning. Me? Cool? Me? Yes. <laughs> you are there, you are there, you are there. Let's go. Huh? Are we ready? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do Maybe I'm already on fire. No, I am. I, I can't do this. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't. No, no, baby, can't do this to me now. 
Please, just, just stop. Babe, what is it that you want? Is it money? Anything you want? If it's money, just mention it. I, I, I don't want. Any amount your lips can carry. I, I, I don't, I don't want your money. I'm, I'm someone else's wife. I, I can't, I can't do this. Please. Jide, please. Stop, stop, stop. I, I, I need to go. Oh, stop, oh, stop, just stop. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Fine, 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 fine. Cool. I'll take you home. I'll wait for you outside. That just dropped you off. Eh? I'm asking you. Oh, you, you, you think I didn't see you? I saw you right from my window. Who was that idiot that just dropped you off? Why are you barking like a dog? Why are you screaming? Oh, Who's that idiot? Open the gate for me. Open the gate. Who's that idiot that just dropped you off? It's alright. It's alright. You think I didn't see you, eh? Who is that man that dropped you off? I swear to God who made me! If you don't tell me where you're coming from right now, I might end up committing murder! Where are you coming from? Tell me! Who dropped you off? Who was this crowd you're putting on? Where is your car? Where are you coming from? So many questions. For who? Me? I will. You will do what? Uh, James, I am asking you. You will do what? You will not even try that shit with me. Don't you dare! Huh? Suddenly you have forgotten that you asked me to get a deal do. Did you? Well, I got myself one. Why are you so upset? I, you, we, we what? But, but what? Huh? Nothing happened last night. You know, with the way you have been treating me this past months, I wanted to get back at you. I wanted to cheat on you, but I couldn't. James is not in my nature to cheat. Listen, James. Why don't we try to work things out? Let's go back to the way we used to be. The happy couple, the, the ever joyous couple. I know how much you loved me. S stop hurting me. What, whatever it is that is trying to put asunder between us, let us fight and rise against it. Please. I still love you from the deepest part of my heart. Please. Please, James. It's too late already. 
those days are gone and gone forever. Then why were you upset about last night? Because you are still in my house. And as long as you are under my roof, you can't be seeing another man. God. God, James, what has come over you? What is going on? This is not you, James. Why are you doing this? Why? This discussion is over. Wait, you mean after everything, Njide did not allow you to have your way with her? I swear to God, she didn't. What happened? That she doesn't want to cheat on her man. What? The same man that has been cheating on her for God knows how long. The same man that has refused to touch her for so long. Instead, ask her to go and get herself a dido. Can you imagine that? Are you serious? Yes! What is wrong with this girl? Why do some women like to, like to slave for a man? And at the end of the day, they will be complaining. <laughs> Gosh, this is absurd! Man, I'm envy of that man. He doesn't know the value of what he has. Listen, if I should lay my hand on him today, I swear to God, I will never look at any other woman in my entire life. I beg you! What do you ever have? You! Once you hit that one snag, you will disappear. You should disappear. Who don't know you? I swear, this is please, serious. Can you just take me to work? I'm, I'm only late, please. And what if I don't want to? Don't make me, don't make me change my mind on you. I've told you that before. Let's go. Come, let me spank that ass. Come here. Papa, will you come here? Njide? <laughs> Where are you? You're already in the office. My friend, who are you expecting to bring your car? Eh? You must be joking. You better come and take the car and go bring your car wherever you parked it. I'm not your slave. Rubbish. Wait, what is this not fair now? Eh? Why would you behave like that? You, you promised to bring back my car for me. I'm very angry and upset with you right now. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but babes, I couldn't just do it. I, could, I couldn't bring myself to do it. You know what? You should be ashamed of yourself. Don't worry, tomorrow you come to complain to me how that your he goat of a husband is treating you like a piece of rag. God, the truth is, I, I have. Ah! The truth is, you was, you are too naive. You have this slavery mentality syndrome. That is your problem. You know what? Take, take your khaki. Go and get your car. You can as well get yourself some brain. I'm done with you. Rubbish. God, it hasn't gotten. Oh my God, I am losing everywhere. I am losing my marriage. I am losing my sanity. I am losing my friends. Oh God, please help me. I can't cheat on my husband. No, it's not possible. Even if he is not treating me right. I can't cheat on him. Anita, how are you? If the money is good, you be sounding this way. Yeah. 
a common anita come on we can't be going through the same topic all the time i told you already i don't want to be the one to send her packing uh, you know with time she will do that herself then i'll bring you in i promised you that before didn't i it's okay it's okay you know what um what's right uh, okay, you know what? See, just get your bags ready. Hmm? I'm coming in now to help you. I'm taking you home today. Listen, who, who owns the box? Uh, Oga, Oga make a card with a new wife. Ah, yes, so that's how it is, eh? It's saying yeah. a new wife. Yeah. <laughs> Mini. Come in, come in, come in. Yes, welcome. Welcome to your new home. Hmm? Feel free, feel at home. My husband's home. Hmm? Oh, oh, <laughs> thank you for that correction. Your husband's house. <laughs> uh, Dixon? Sir? Take yeah. that box to my room. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up. Let's go. I want to believe this is some sort of joke. <laughs> An Anita? Yes. No, it can't, it can't be you, of course. <laughs> oh my darling, it's me. It's oh. Anita. Mama. Oh, <laughs> oh Mama. Mm -hmm. I am here finally. Finally, Mwambo. Hey, there is nothing like being in one's husband's house. Ah, you can say that. I know, baby. Madam Veronica. What is, what is going on here? Your daughter, why is she in my husband's house? Such is life. Eh? From a poor, wretched man. To an expensive nanny and to the mother-in-law of the rich man of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Make your husband happy. I love you. Mm. Husband is sweet. Especially a lot of people Can be sweet. Look at them. Go together. They know the same color. Go meet your husband. <laughs> Oh, wow, never knew you know about colors, eh? Why would I? <laughs> Am I blind? <laughs> you can't do this to me. You, you can't do this. This is... This oh, is going to be shown into my room. Oh, uh -huh. is that way? Oh, yeah. okay. Yes. Oh, so the way to my husband's uh, room. Your husband's room is just by the... That is the master's bedroom. Oh, they are balanced on the big bed. <laughs> Enjoy, Oma. Enjoy. Mm. Please. Please. Tell me this is a joke. How can it be a joke? Is that your daughter? Of course. Emma is my daughter. Such is life. It is no longer that poor, wretched nanny. Please. It is now an expensive nanny. Mother in law to the rich man of the house. To the big man of the house. I beg you. Oh, I beg you in God's name. Don't do this to me. What did I do to you? Please. No, tell me what did I do to you? It's even good you're meanly. Do you know how many months I have knelt to serve you? Do you know how many months I've knelt for you to give me stipend as my salary? That is not true. Do you know how many times I have knelt for me to say thank you, ma? At my age, I am kneeling down to thank you. And you're answering, oh, Madam Veronica, now is Judeka. Accept it. Life is turn by turn. This is my turn to enjoy. Look at the kind of house you're living in. Look at the chair you sit on, very expensive. 
Let me equally enjoy it as a co-owner. And not as a nanny. You think you're doing a favor? Now, it is Viva, sir. I'm actually doing you the favor. <coughs> <coughs> Good morning, ma. Yes, morning. Why did you have to run into the road like that? Madam, please, I am sorry. Don't be angry with me. He's hunger. Hunger is killing my children and I. In fact, hunger has swept my feet off my house. I don't know what to do. I've been going from house to house looking for who to employ me. I can't do anything. I can wash. I can't be a nanny. I can't do anything for money, please, ma. Madam, madam, madam. It's okay, you don't have to cry, alright? I'm not going to be a baby. I'm not It's uncontrollable. I cannot control it again. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please help me. Okay, um, the thing is, I, I'm actually in need of a nanny. Hey. A live in nanny, someone who would stay in my house. With no pleasure. I do, wouldn't mind. I will stay in, even at the back of your house, I will stay there as long as I'm with you and I'm working. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, I'm actually on my way to work and I'm running late already. So I, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. Okay? okay? Yes. I, I'll look for a way around it. I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'll get to you. Yes. No problem, ma. God bless you. Okay. Thank Have you. a nice day. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you're still here? Yes, it's, you know you said you'll see me tomorrow. But there's no need, I cannot wait till tomorrow. No house to go back to, hunger will not even allow me to stay in that house. So there was no point to going home. You mean you've been here since morning? Yes, I've been here, madam. I've been here since morning. I'm sorry, ma. Uh, no, it's okay. Come into the car. I should come inside? Yes. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You're very much welcome. Okay, um... The thing is, I... I am a chartered accountant with one of the thriving companies in the States. I have a toddler who I enrolled in a daycare school, but my schedule is quite tight. So sometimes it's difficult for me to drop him off at school and pick him up. Today, my husband had to do it because... I didn't have the time to do so. But of course, if I had a nanny, she would do the job. Um, the thing is, you actually remind me of my mother. Oh. My late mom. Oh, one more. And I would rather drop my child with you than leave him with a total stranger. You know, anything can happen. I know. It's your cool. Anything can happen. The times are bad. Like you rightly said, that I remind you of your little mom. I'm your mother. See me as your mother. Don't see me as your staff or your friend, but your mother. I'm your child. He's my child. And he's safe with me. Thank you very much. Oh. Um, okay, I'll just um, take you to my house. So at least you get to know where you're working. And then you can resume tomorrow. No, I'll resume today, today, today. There's no need. Work is work. Let me start. It's better to start than say to work. Tomorrow is too far. You may change your mind. Okay, let's just get to the house first. No problem. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma. Thank you so much, ma. You're welcome. God bless you. <laughs> My God will bless you abundantly. Amen. And He will bless you too. Amen. Well, don't tell me you were here the whole time. I mean, since morning. Do I have any other choice? You said tomorrow is too far. The sun does not kill. I have to wait. Ah, somebody has given me an assurance that we will work. So why am I going home? Going to where? 
I thought I paid your salary just last week. Yes, madam, you paid me. But you see, I have a daughter who is in the university. So that money you gave me, you paid me. I added it to the one I have and used it to pay her school fees. Yes, she has paid, but she, she needs some money for her provision and pocket money. So I'm begging that you give me a loan for my next month's salary. Please. Don't be angry. It's okay. You know, you remind me so much of my mother. My father died when I was five. And my mother single-handedly trained me in school until I graduated. And got my license as a chartered accountant. It's okay. It's not a problem, okay? It's all right. I am your mother. In fact, your mother is alive in me. Don't take it to heart. Anything that the mother should do for her own child, I'll do for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell your daughter to see me on Sunday morning. Okay. I'll tell her. Thank All right. you so much. It's okay, Mama. Let me go back to my chores. All right. She's a big girl. Sit down, my darling. How are you? Hi, Ma. What's your name, dear? My name is Anita, Ma. Anita? Yes, Ma. Ah. Oh. So what year are you in school? Third year. What are you studying? Mass communication, Ma. Wow. Then I'm going to use the man I'm going to do. <laughs> Mama. That's very good. Listen, I'll tell you a short story. I never used to joke with my mother. She meant everything to me. That woman made sure I went to school. She did all sorts of many a job to make sure I graduated. I knew where I was coming from. So I took my studies very seriously. Look at me today. A very successful chartered accountant. And a big madam. Ah, Madame Veronica. <laughs> Listen, I want you to take care of this woman. I want you to make her proud. Promise me you'll do so. <laughs> Anyways, I brought you something. I'm so real. I didn't know she was this big girl that brought something bigger. Oh my God! This was real. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh! Put your voice down. I don't want my husband to know I gave you some money. Okay? Just to manage it. I didn't know she was this big. I would have brought more. Ah, eh? This one is too much already now. What do you mean it's too much? It's too much. For a big girl like you. Stand up, okay? Just use it to take good care of yourself. God, I bless you, madam. It's okay, madam. I bless you. Amen. I will forever remain indebted to you for everything you have been doing for me and my family. Thank you. No problem. She said she would remain indebted to me. Now she has paid me back in my own coin. My good heart. My kind nature has finally landed me in trouble. Why are her things still in the wardrobe? I hope you don't have plans for both of us to share the same room. Of course, no. Don't worry. I will move her things to the guest room. 
All right? Well, you better hurry up because things like this pisses me off. I don't like it. And be fast about it. Of course, I'll do it. In fact, let me do it right away. She'll be staying in the other room. I have moved the things from my room to the guest room. All of them. So, there will be no need for you to come get them yourself. Hmm? You'll be staying in the guest room. I hope you understand. So tell me, is she going to be staying in this house with us? What do you mean? Baby, I need to know my role in this house. You need to explain things to me. Because of course you know I don't like sharing. I already told you, I don't feel comfortable having her around in this house. For goodness sake, I am getting married to a divorcee, not a married man. And I cannot be a second wife. I can't drive into that or this house. I can't. But not to worry. Soonest. She'll get tired. Frustrated. And she will leave on her own accord. Baby, that woman I met downstairs doesn't look like someone who will leave this house any moment. She will leave. When? She will leave. Can you help me bring the baby? I, I'm tired. I've not slept properly. Please. Shut up! You are none. How dare you? Who are you to send me on such a senseless errand? Have you lost your mind or what? Oh, you still think I am that poor Richard Nani employed? No, I am now the mother-in-law of the man of the house. From ordinary nanny, I was begging you that they hold you your legs crying to a designer's mother-in-law. But I get used to my new status. Condition your mind. For this little time you're going to spend with us, let it be running through your mind. Because very soon, you'll be leaving this house because my beloved daughter will not share her man with a miserable idiot. Like you, I didn't mean me. God got it, my baby. I don't understand. You know your place in this house. Deal with it. Idiot. Hurry up! The baby's noise is disturbing me. I want to sleep. Are you still sitting there? I want me to drive you to go and carry your baby. Anyway, move on. Conscious. Baby can cry and die for all you care. Hold up, hold up, the baby is disturbing me. Hold up. Ah, 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 
Deception is what I got for my good. Ooh. Heartbreak is what I got for being nice when you're never running. It's unbelievable. I'm betrayed. You took away my joy. Good morning, boss. Good morning, boss. Where is the baker? She, she's not yet here. The baker has not reported to office by this time. Yeah, I've been trying to reach out to her. I'm, I'm cool. Did you, did you get to her? Don't you ever. Don't you ever call my name. Don't get me involved. That's a serious one, please. Good. See her. As soon as she comes to office, tell her to report to her office. Good. How can you say such demeaning ways about your friend? You're in presence of our paymaster. It's wrong. Even you, face your thoughts. I don't want to be friends with any of you anymore. I don't want the only connection we are going to have. From today going forward, to say, oh, I, good morning, good morning, and nothing else. Day your day, let's meet day by day, to your tents, O Israel. Sorry, boss. She's she isn't. Yeah, yeah, I think something is wrong somewhere because our number is switched off. I can't even reach her. It's just a exercise patient. I'm sure. She no, 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 no. I didn't build this enterprise with patience. No, I built here with hard work, Hello. dedication to work. Hello. I will not tolerate any of my staff being insubordinate. I will not. This is not the first time she she's missing work at will. Without any official excuse. Sorry, How can she just wake up and decide not to come to work? How? I don't think she did it on purpose. I think there's a problem. Something is going on. I don't know why I switched off. I can't even service. Good. Yes. In the next one hour, come to my office and collect a sack letter. Jesus. Okay, boss. Serves her right. She thinks it's easy to make money. No, my darling. Let her stay for just one month without money. If someone offers her one million euro, let me see how she will refuse it. Poor oh, rubbish. Why can't you be sensible for once? This is someone losing a job. It's not fish to me. It's a one try. I did. The next thing you're going to tell him now is to buy your own personal car. Get a car owner. Can you imagine going to school with your own car? Uh, Mama, Do you make sense? 
I know to make sense, but he said I'm free to use any of the cars in this compound. Anita. Ma? You have the sense. My own is my own. Our own is our own. You need to tell him to buy your own personal car. Register it in your, in your own name. That car Jida is driving is her own personal car. Eh? Even if she wants to go now, she'll go with the car. Uh, Mama, it's true. But you remember that Jida is a working class lady. It's possible she used her own personal money to buy that car. Doesn't matter. The person we're talking about, Diego, he has money. Even if you want 10 cars, he can buy it for you. He can afford it. Yes. Yes. Hey, okay, Mama, fine. I'm not going. But when are you going? When are you leaving? Since you're no longer working here. I don't understand. Hmm? Did he ask you to send me back in? No. How? How can? It's not possible. Who says I don't want you? I don't like us. We are here together, Seth. Better. Welcome, my love. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Thank you. So tell me, how was work today? Hectic as usual, but uh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So guess what? What? Guess. I'm not good at guessing, you know that. I made your favorite. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> as if you knew. Mm -hmm. I'm so famished. I know. Okay, see what you're going to do right now? Go and freshen up while I set the dining. Sure, right away. All right. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, where's Njideka? I, I don't understand. What do you mean, where's Njideka? Am I her keeper? Well, she should be in the room with her baby, in the guest room. You kept us in the dark. Your phone was off throughout yesterday. Sharon, the worst has happened. What worst happened? Sharon, I am finished. Everything is shattered. I had to turn off my phone yesterday so nobody would be able to reach me. See, I, I, I don't like this, your suspense. What happened? Talk to me, what happened? Sharon, you wouldn't believe it. The Anita, the Anita we have been talking about turns out to be Madame Veronica's daughter. Who is Madame Veronica? Which Veronica are you talking about? Inchide? My nanny! That's our daughter. Hey, the same Anita. Hey! Anita, same girl. Man. Man. Why are men like this? I don't know what to do because I'm just going to run mad. I am. I'm losing it already. I'm hey. Now my husband has brought her into the house as his wife. My co wife. I, I, I need to see the boss. I need to talk to her. I, I need a week off. I need, to, I need to, I need to put myself together again. Oh, please hold on. You know, I had to say I told you so, but I did. So just hold on. No need to go and explain anything. It's too late for that. I can say this thing now. <laughs> what is this? Don't you have eyes? Can't you read? 
Who, who is this from? Who, who brought this? From the boss, of course. and see the boss. Try and talk to him. I'm sure he will give you listening ears. Please. But this woman is evil. She is evil. How can you pay good gesture with evil? Who does that? Hi. We men. God. What have I done to deserve these things that are happening to me now? I thought you said in the Bible that you would not allow any temptation that is bigger than us to come to us. Is mine different? Where have I offended you? What have I done to deserve this kind of punishment? Mama, where are you? Come and see your daughter. Sorrow have become my bread. The person I tried to help has paid me back with wickedness. <laughs> what you such people? I like when a woman is extreme and beautiful. Honestly, just like me. Yeah. <laughs> Please, who removed the kettle I put on the gas cooker? Shift now, let me watch TV. Can't you see I'm watching TV? I'm asking the both of you. Who removed the kettle of water boiling and put that nonsense there? What she's cooking is nonsense. Okay, Anna? Uh, please, please, Veronica. I am boiling that water because I want to make food for my baby immediately he wakes up. Every day, baby, 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 more also. Can't this baby grow and do things for himself? Um, wait, wait, wait. Unjideka. Don't tell me you removed the pot of soup I was making for my husband. Well, you're not the first person who removed the kettle I was using to boil water. Water is it food. Look at where you're pointing. You, you put down the kettle of water. Water, water. Food is food. Oh, I want them even. Who take it? See what I? It's yours. Give me my damn money. Just like you buy it. Anita, in mm -hmm. Have you gone nuts? No, are you insane? What the fuck wrong with you? Are you mad? Yeah? You slapped me. No, I fried you egg. She wants to abort your baby. She wants to abort your husband's baby. Run, run. Go and tell him. Is that how you are? You are a demon. You are the demon. You are a witch. You are the witch. You, you, you are to eat her baby. What in hell? You are in hell. Hella, hella, hella. Are you mad? Hella, hella, hella. 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 Hella, hella, Chideka, huh? Chideka slapped me and hit me on my tummy. Why? I don't know. I don't know what I did to her. I, I was making your food. Your food was on fire. The next day she came to the kitchen and she she rushed and carried your food and put it on the floor. And the next day she, she started attacking me. What did I do to her? Is she nuts or something? I think she's mad. I think something is wrong with her. Where is she? She's still... Where is she? You see your days are numbered in this house. Where is that evil woman? She is here. She wants to be. Where is that evil woman? She is here. 
Are you mad? I'm asking you. Are you, are you drunk? I'm asking you. How could you? How could you be this wicked to the extent that you want to harm an innocent baby out of jealousy and envy? Let me tell you something. I'll listen good. The day you try this raw bitch again in this house, I will make sure I throw you out since you don't respect your own self. Why are you so jealous of that girl? What did the little girl do to you? I'm asking you. James. James, you slapped me. And I will do it again. And again and again. You don't stop this nonsense. I'm warning you. Respect yourself. It's not, it is swagging shots. Born again slap! I on the born again face. Anita, mm -hmm. you needed to have heard the sound of that slap that landed on her cheek. Like lightning. Why? <laughs> oh! Mama, I heard it. I heard it from the corridor. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your husband should be given the award of the best lapper. Because, eh, it was on target. <laughs> you can say that again. You know, I trust my husband. Mm. And you know, he does not joke with his unborn child. I know. You see this baby right here? He would do anything, he would go to any length to protect his child. Child, I am broken. This is so painful. My husband raised his hands and slapped me today without even hearing from me. Something this man hasn't done since we got married. Sharon, he slapped me because of Veronica and her daughter. The same woman I decided to help. Oh my God. AGD. You don't deserve this at all. You don't deserve this ill treatment from anybody. Why now? How could that woman and her daughter treat you with all the good you have done for them? In the trust, see, I will not be alive and see you suffer. No, pack your things and come to my house immediately. I don't blame them at all. I blame that your senseless husband who allowed them to treat you that way. Please, I am waiting for you. Come over to my house immediately. God. Mm. Okay. I'm listening. Angel, the bottom line now is that it's too late for you to come. But I want you to pack your things tomorrow morning and come over to my house. And I'm not sure if you're going to meet me because I mean, I've left for work. But I've told the security um, guy that you are coming. I have food in the fridge, whatever you want to eat. Just make yourself comfortable with your son in my house don't stay in the house i don't want to hear that you have changed your mind don't allow those that woman and her daughter put you into depression i don't want you to break down please please you have had enough make sure you come to my house and i promise to rush back home immediately after work all right all right <laughs> i'll be waiting for you Bye. Good night. Make sure you sleep. And don't think about everything that has happened. Don't. Bye.
Oh, are you in my house now? Okay. Uh, have you seen our security? Good, good, good. Okay. Just relax yourself. I'm coming. As soon as office closes, I'll be home. Don't think too much, please. I am always here for you. And just know that I love you. All right? See you, sir. Bye. What are you doing here? Come down. Can you just come down, baby? Who told you I'm not calm? If you were calm, you wouldn't be talking to me that way. Fine. What are you doing here? I'm here to see your friend, Njide. Point of correction. Njide used to be my friend or not anymore. Correction noted. But I'm still here to see her. She's been sacked. What? And I'm sure she's currently out of that man's house. I overheard Sharon talking with her on the phone. So she is currently in Sharon's house. Are you serious? What happened? Nothing other than she is a fool. A big fool. She let that useless man make a slave of her. After all my advice to her, she chose to be stupid. Rubbish. Please, how can I see her? I don't know. Maybe she can meet Sharon. Good. So, can I please have Sharon's number? And while on earth would I give you Sharon's number? Because I'll pay you 200k in cash here and now just to have her number. Hmm. 200k. Now you're talking. Good boy. Do the transfer. Welcome. Thank you very much. How was work today? Oh, it was fine. Mm -hmm. like no. Thank you. No. <sighs> ah, did you forget anything? Yes, my wife. Is she not in your room? I'm not talking about Anita. Where's my wife? I know you with. Don't be silly. I'm asking you, where is my wife? Oh, if you're talking about Njide, she has finally done the needful. She packed her things and left for good. It's not better. Who's my child? I don't understand. That talk about more, you amuse me. We are expecting her to leave the baby. Well, she left with her baby. That's what you have always wanted. That was your plan. You said you will not send her out of your house. You will keep dealing with her until she lives by herself. Why are you not acting as if you never wanted her to go in the first instance? Oh. You wanted her 
to go and she left. You should be happy and enjoy your new marriage. Is it losing? I don't know what is wrong with the men. Sometimes they don't even know what they want. You said you will deal with her, deal with her until she leaves. Now she has finally left to give you your freedom to enjoy your new marriage. And you're forming uh, 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 oh, love, 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 love
You know, my father died at an early stage and I was left with my mother really. My uncles, my aunts, they never cared whether I lived or not. So when you talk about family, I can't even point at one. That's why I keep telling myself that when I get married, I will make sure my marriage stands strong. Because that's the only family I will be left with. So as for family, I don't. You know each time I say it, you think I'm joking. But I'm serious. I don't. That's okay. Not as if I have a problem with that. <laughs> I just feel like talking about it again. It's okay. And talking about marriage. Mm hmm Uh new family. Uh what if I ask you to be my wife? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> You know this is you know this is not something to joke about, right? This is... And what makes you think I'm joking? Hmm? Does it seem to you like I'm um, joking? James, what are you doing? Today. Yes. I I have always seen you as the woman of my dream. That's where you are. And I I dream of making you the mother of my unborn kids. My wife. Please. Will you marry me? Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Thank you. Thank you. And why are you looking at me like that? Nothing. Baby, you cannot keep telling me nothing. Something is bothering you. What is it? I'm fine. present absent-minded what where exactly has your thoughts gone to what are you thinking maybe you should stop bothering me i should stop bothering you oh okay wait i really hope you are not lying down here on our matrimonial bed thinking about njideka i really hope so oh my god because i will not take it really why are you so bothered about my thoughts why? Now answer me. Why won't I worry? You are my husband and I am your wife. And as such, whatever worries you should be my concern. As a matter of fact, we are not even supposed to be hiding things away from each other. But here you are thinking and I can't even place my mind on what exactly you are thinking about. 
What is wrong? Answer me. Good night. Okay. Fine. Suit yourself. How was your night? Hope you slept well. Of course, I slept like a queen. The queen you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, how far? What are you cooking? I'm cooking breakfast. You know, your husband, I know he's preparing to leave. So, I'm making very wonderful breakfast for him. So, you go and tell him that you are the one that made the breakfast. So that he will know that I gave him a hundred yards wife material. That is hundred times better than that stupid ex-wife. They won't hurt them my if I should go and climb the chair in the, in the living room and be watching TV. Nani Abu and I shut that account. Oh mama. Of course. Ah. Let me go and rest in the parlor, spread my legs and have a good rest while you continue cooking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But were you, able, were you able to tell him about the car? The car? The car asked you to tell him now. I, Mama, I I wanted to tell him last night, but I noticed his countenance. He wasn't happy, so I decided to leave him. Why was he not happy? Is that your business that he's not happy? I don't know. Just play your part and leave his happiness. Uh, Mama, but I think he's not happy because of his wife. Which wife? Ex, ex-wife. Oh. Once a wife goes to ex, it is pium over. Over. <laughs> gone, gone, gone. Gone nest. Mm. And a wife. <laughs> Ex wife. Do you know what a woman leaves her husband's house? No marriage again. That is true. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm now the new queen. Of course. Go and rest. Eh? Tell him about the car. Eh? Um, Touch him. Play with him. You young girl. Shake your body for him. Your booty, your boobs. Do everything. See all you have. Eh? With all this slim and this. Oh! They go deep. You oh, see to man. turn his head. <laughs> okay, now let me go. Let go do, let go do. Hey! I wish I am this age. You may me, I'm on the man. I wanted to talk to you about something last night, but I noticed you were not in a good mood. Mm. Okay, go ahead. I'm all here. It's about the car I told you about. The car? Which car? Which car again? I told you I needed a car in my name. A car that will have, you know, the papers will be in my name, Anita. Yes. <sighs> Anita. What is with this? I need a car in my name. Flying around. I want to know. I have told you severally that I have two cars in this compound. And that you are free to use either of them any day, any time. So what's with this car thing? Baby, you just said your car. I'm talking about my car. I mean, a car that will come in my name. Is it too hard to ask? Anita, what's your plan? What plan? I'm asking you, what's just come out straight. What is your plan? I don't have any plan. What are you talking about? You don't have any plan? Mm -hmm. Yet you are talking about something very, very 
unnecessary, very irrelevant, and you're telling me you don't have plans. What are your plans? Now, let me ask you. What vital things, I mean, what are those important things we should be talking about, if not this car? Eh? Mm -hmm. So you don't know? You don't know the important things we should be talking about? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, good. Let me educate you. Need I remind you that you are a stranger in this house? Eh? You don't know? Have I paid your bride's price? No. Have I taken you to the altar? No. Any court marriage? No. Instead of you to be talking about important things, you are here talking about one rubbish car. Let me ask you, are you here to be a car owner or to be my wife? Ah, is that what you're yelling at me? Why are you shouting? I'm asking you. But why are you shouting? We are not the same person that told me that until the paternity of my baby is confirmed, before we can go through the marriage process. Is that what you told yes, me? Yes, I said it. Uh -huh. And it still stands. Okay? Until then, do not disturb me about any rubbish car. I don't want to hear about any car from your mouth. Okay? Hey, 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 baby, baby, calm down, eh? What is your yelling? It's not necessary. You're, you, it's affecting my baby. You're disturbing my child, though. What is all this shouting for? Because of car. Car that you can just easily do transfer and you're here shouting. Please, though. I don't like it. But you buy that car. You have to buy it. Just you buy that car. You buy it. Just, just take a look at this ostrich. Eh? Hey? Why is your face like that? Am I told you? I told that this thing is not a good idea. I told him and he was upset about the whole thing. He said I should not mention it again, that my mates are talking about useful things, I'm talking about scar. So what did he say particularly? He said I'm a stranger in this house. What? James Mepelon, on no jiri jiri ede, bog a stranger. Yes, so. When your own matrimony at home, bog a stranger. He even said he has not even paid my bride price, let alone taking me to church to wed me, let alone going to court for, for court marriage. Nothing at all, and I'm talking about scar. Okay, relax. Relax. I didn't mean to be okay. I came prepared. Even before I embarked on this dangerous journey, I had my plans on my fingertips. By the time I'm done with James, he wouldn't know when he will marry you. In fact, he is, when I he has married you already. He won't know when he will marry you and take you to the altar. Do that court wedding. You just wake up one morning and realize that he has completely married you and you are his legal wife. <laughs> Relax. Ah, don't be afraid. That's what I have done without you. Uh -uh. If you don't have a, anybody that does not have a mother like me. I thought I had them. Okay, that person is on his own. Ah. Yo, yo, yeah, on your know. own. <laughs> I can move my well, eh? I trust hey, you, Mama. I trust you. Oh, good, eh, eh, eh. Go and relax yourself. Move around as the uh, free owner of the house. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. Call me a stranger. And you don't cook it. I'm even hungry, sir. I'm about to finish. Everybody's a stranger in this world. Mm -hmm. So he, he's thinking, calling you a stranger. He doesn't know that he's a stranger in this world. Baby, breakfast is ready. Baby, where are you? Baby, I made your favorites. Are you leaving already? Oh, yes. Um, baby, I made your favorite. You need to eat something before going out. Oh, not to worry. I'll eat when I get back. Baby, I put so much energy into making this food. I saw it when I get back. All right? I'm late. Late already. Baby, even if it's just one spoon.
He didn't want to eat his breakfast. I don't know. But Mama, I think he's not happy. He's obviously not happy because of that car issue. Can you calm down? Relax. Leave that one to me. I will handle it. It's not me again. Trust me, I will handle it. There is no cause for alarm. Car, it is your only rugi as his woman. Am I sure? You? I'm sure. You see, in this game, I'm an expert. Okay. So leave everything to me. Okay. Mm. It's true. Mm. Don't worry, let's go inside. Mama. Okay, let's go. I came prepared. Even before I embarked on this dangerous journey. I had my plans on my fingertips. By the time I'm done with James, he won't know when he will marry you and take you to the altar. Do that court wedding. You just woke up one morning and realize that. So, it has been a game all this while. Babes, yes. this is the woman I've been telling you about. Oh, it's me. Baby. I was hoping to see a young girl in her maybe mid twenties and hey. not this woman. I can even walk. It's hunger. I lost my previous job and everything is on me. No money anywhere. Don't say let me be doing this work to help out. Please help me. I will do anything you're asking me to do in this house. I will do everything. I, I think we should consider her. If I just forget her age, forget her looks. She, she fits perfectly into the role of a nanny. I, I think she can take care of our son. I have when it comes to nanny, I have experience. Please listen. It is not about you being hungry or you don't have what to eat. You see, I'm not just trying to stop you from getting this job. It is because of what I've seen with my eyes. And what I've heard. Baby, you know Roland's case now. Let me tell you. You see, a friend of mine named Roland, his wife talked him into getting a nanny from the village. And they ended up getting an older lady, a little bit older than yourself. She came to the house. Barely two weeks, things changed. Ask me how. The woman that's supposed to be the nanny became the madam that is sending my friend's wife rather messages on the house on errands any small thing you hear uh, uh, please uh, my daughter can you please uh, uh, get me the remote the next day uh, my my daughter uh, please can you go upstairs get me my drugs and get me water let me take my drugs someone that's supposed to be a nanny okay? and at the end of the month you'll be expecting salary so that's exactly what happened I don't want that kind of thing to happen to my wife because I love her so much. By the way, if we give you this job now, we will now answer the title, Ma, in this house. No, no, uh, Ma. I'm, all, I, I, I'm already calling her, Ma. Whoa, uh, Ma, I'm not calling you, Ma, already. It's okay. Just... I'm calling her, Ma, already. I'm calling her, Ma. She's my madam now. Babes. Listen. Please, just like, like I said earlier, forget her looks. The, the, the most important thing here is for the job to be done. And she has assured me that she can she can take care of our son, please. I will do it perfectly. I will take care of him. I will bake him. I will, in fact, I will be hungry while he eats. Uh, my wife here is a madam of this house. And whatever she say goes. So who am I to say no when she said she wants you in this house as a nanny? It's okay. Does that mean I have the job? Do I have the job, madam? Ma, I have the job. Yes. Hey! Yes. God bless you. God bless you. God bless it's you. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. Thank you. Baby, later I'll show her around. So. I will. Okay. <laughs> Mama, take it easy. Sit down. I'll be showing you around. Okay. 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 Just okay. Let me stand here. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs>
Tá. Tá ali. Tá ali. Oi, Gonçalo. Thank you very much. Big boy. <laughs> Big boy. How are you? She's uh, fine, baby. That's my wife. Ah. Uh, she went down to. By this time of the night. Uh, immediately she came back. She dropped her bag and drove off. I was even the one that made your dinner. Papa? Bye. Did she dance? Hello? Where are you? Th th that's not the question. I say, where are you, my friend? Where are you? You're close by. You're close. Okay, good. I'm home. All right. I'll be inside. Okay, sir. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I can see the reason you employed her into this house is so that you can lazy around. Please, please, James, don't even start. What has laziness got to do with this? That I went to the tailor shop to collect my clothes I'm going to use to go to work tomorrow. Is that supposed to be an issue? Why are you raising your voice at me? And she had to make my own food in this house because you had to mend your clothes? What is wrong with you? We... You mean Veronica told you that she made your food? You better take your time in this house. Take your time in this house! This should not repeat itself again. Excuse me. Madame Veronica. She disgusts me, though she's my wifey. She makes me angry. Yes. All the time. I just came to talk to you. Okay. About what? About your wife. You know, it's not her fault she's like this. You know, she lost her mother quite early in life. So she did not get the opportunity to have the adequate training she needs from her mother. The wife is lazy. I am sorry I'm sounding like this, but that is the truth. Imapuna is your your wife still craves to be that single girl she was a few years ago before she married you. And that was why she employed me, so that I would be doing her wifely duties for her. Why she enjoys her single uh, uh, womanhood. You know, sleeps when she wants to sleep, wakes up when she wants to wake up, go out when she wants to go out, eat when she wants to eat. You know, the baby has been denying her that. So now that I'm doing everything, she's free. When you see a woman that is properly raised, you will know your wife lacks it. She doesn't have that basic home training. Anya I know, I've been, I've been here. I see everything. But if my daughter, Anita, we have to be here. Haba, you see the difference? I gave her all the required training to be a mother, to be a good wife, to be a caretaker, because a woman is a caretaker and a caregiver. Your wife is not a, any of this. Has she finished giving care to herself before she would think about another person? Several times you have come home, you see the baby yelling, yeah, yeah. She just come uh, I've already got to take care of the baby. She go to the room and sleep. It's not her fault. Nobody train Azur Azur. Man Azur my daughter. Boja. Mubaya. Why you cro? Yes, you're not good a bear. You're a good man. No problem. I said, let me come and tell you so that you don't be making trouble with her. There's no need. Because you can't change anything. Now that you're making the situation worse, she starts seeing you as if you hate her. Which is not good in marriage. I don't want to regret ever making her my wifey. Angel, hurry up, we're late. I'm eh? here, I'm here. Angel. Yes, what is it? Are you not bringing Phil along? I left him with the nanny. Can we go? Why? What do you mean, why? 
Hinjibe, how can you leave your son with a nanny on a Sunday afternoon? For goodness sake, James. That is the reason we pay her at the end of every month. It's her job. For real? Are you being serious here? Hinjibe, from Monday through Friday, you are always at work. And on Saturdays, you still leave the baby with the nanny. Then on Sunday, which is the only day that you're supposed to have time for your baby, you're still leaving him with a nanny? Why? Why are you doing this? What do you mean, why? Why are you asking these questions? I already explained it to you. Let me tell you something. You are first a wife, a mother, before a chartered accountant. First thing first, okay? Don't misplace your priorities. Oh, please, James, we're heading for a party. A friend celebration, actually. We shouldn't, we shouldn't go into the venue with long faces. This shouldn't be an issue. Let's just go, please. Yeah, honey, what's the name of this gospel artist again? Honey, what is it with you these days? Why do you like picking offense at any slightest opportunity? Is it because of Bill? Listen, I just, I felt he will be safer at home. Uh, well, I can see you prefer temporary freedom to real life obligations. James, will you stop with this? It's not true and you know it. It's not true. Eh? You see, let me tell you something. Your own son is not in confidence in you. Yes, that's how it seems. The child that you carried in your womb for nine months that made you went through labor. I don't know why you like abandoning him to someone else because you want to go out. Eh? It's the only child in confidence in you. Let me know. That is not it. I just... I wanted him to be with Veronica. I just felt he would be, you know, happier and safer with Veronica. That's why I left him with her. Mm. Yes. That is not safe with you? It's... It's not like that. But, but what? Tell me now. You have no explanation. Eh? All you want to do is jump from one table to another. Greeting friends and people that don't even know you that much. Eh? So you think the boy is going to inconvenience you. The best thing for you to do is just to drop him with someone, anyone at all, so you have your the opportunity to move around. That is not good. I'm telling you. That is it. Alright. I am sorry. It won't happen again, please. I'm truly sorry. Okay, that's how I should let you know. It's getting clearer now. She came in with a purpose and I fell for her. I should have known better. The worst thing that can happen to you. Please don't be offended. We you go to work today. I hope all is well. All is well. I have decided to rest today. Oh. At least let me take a rest. I had a very, very hectic week. I know. Am I not in this house? I know. Do, do you know it's nice for a man like you, Diego, that is very, very okay to be taking out some time to rest. At least two times in a week, you sure. Take out time to rest. Rest in itself is highly therapeutic. Before you know it, I'm about to say, it will be healthy. Eh? It's good. At least rest today. Eh, let me quickly make you pepper soup. So that as you're resting, you're in an angle. Okay.
Janita, where are you? You see that opportunity we have been praying for? It has finally presented itself. Stop now. Leave whatever thing you are doing and come to my workplace. Anita Ruadegi, take that really book cab and rush here. I don't want to wait for you. What is it? I thought I heard voices. Voices? I was talking to myself. Oga, oh Oga, oh you will not understand. Anytime the burden of life hits me so hard, I will start talking to myself. I will start acting weird. Oga, oh I'm tired. Go, I will go, I'm tired. Oh, well, uh, whatever it is that prevents you, I would just advise you to take it easy, okay? Thank you, Olga. Mm, lift the burden off your shoulders. Mm? Thank take you, Take it Olga. easy. Thank you. Dan, Olga. All right. Mm. I don't want to wait for you one second. Hey, who? Are you still there? Very much fine, sir. Who is she? Uh, that is my daughter, sir. She's in her finals in the university. Her name is Aneta, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, really? Uh, I see. Aneta, how are you? I'm very much fine, sir. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Oga, uh, you know, since I started working here, the work is too much. The work is too many. I do practically everything. You know, Immediately, I assumed office here. Your wife practically left everything for me only to do. Not considering my age. Eh? I cook. I, I, I wash. I mop. I even wash her bathroom. I clean her room. I bet the baby. I feed the baby. I wash the baby's clothes. Haba. Haba. Not as if I'm complaining, you know. But I have a little challenge at home. Uh, there's something they called me to come and attend to. So I had to call my daughter to come and leave me. Because I don't want Madam to come and meet those chores unattended to. And begin to get angry at me. So I called her. I see. Sir, you see this one? Ah, go wine. I gave her all the training a woman should give to her daughter. She will do everything in less than no time. She's not lazy like your wife. Just, just watch it and see how we should finish all the chores. Oh, I see. Perfect. You have done really good. So well, awesome up. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let me go show her the things she will do for me. And watch her finish everything before you know it. Okay. Thank you, sir. I'll be leaving now. My daughter is already attending to the baby. Once the baby sleeps, she'll go to the church the wife left for me. She'll do everything before I come back. It's okay. I'll come back before your wife comes back. Uh, one, oh. All right. Uh, Aneta, did you... 
Um, why? I, I am so sorry, sir. Sir, the baby pulled on my dress, so I took it off and washed it. It's outside. I allowed it to dry. Oh, uh, really? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's sleeping. Sir, the baby is having running stomach. So I guess, not like I guess, I think he needs medical attention. Stomach upset, why? Um, sir, I, I'm sorry for what just happened. I, I'll quickly get my mother's strap out to tie on. Better. Thank you, sir. The worst thing that can happen to a man is to have an enemy within. The worst thing that can happen to you is to have an enemy within. Oh, be careful who you love, who you love, never give your heart. To avoid an enemy with you. Oh, be careful who you trust, who you love. Oh, to avoid regrets at last. The heart of man is so desperately wicked. No one can define it. Except I don't know how stupid. How stupid I was about falling for your, your gimmicks. I'm pregnant. You, you what? You heard me. You can't be pregnant. It's not possible. It was just a simple touch. Uh, uh, just one careless touch. Well, that one careless touch has resulted to me being pregnant. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even have allowed it to touch me, if not like I was ovulating. God, what kind of temptation is this? Eh? What kind of temptation is this? <laughs> It's okay. Um, where do we go from here? I mean, what do we do now? I should be asking you. What do we do? You will terminate the pregnancy. What? Over my dead body. Because abortion is a no-no for me. Listen to me. There is nothing to listen to. Don't you get it? I'm a married man for God's sakes. Oh, really? You're a married man? When you were busy devouring me, spreading my legs so wide. You know, I caught you that you were married. Ah, and now you want to preach to me that you're married. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. The mistake has been made already. So what we should be talking about is how to provide a solution to this situation we find ourselves. And come to think of it, you said used me. You caused it by said using me. Yes, you did. And I'm not going to deny the fact I fell for it. But let me tell you something. The sooner you and I come together, calm down and think of a solution, the better for us. Hey, listen, hey, Mr. Man, please. I beg you in God's name. I don't have time for all this drama. All I need now is for you to provide a remedy as soon as possible because abortion is not part of the plan. It can never be. Wait a second, what are you even talking about? You want me to provide a solution to the problem and you said abortion is out of the plan? Yet you want, what do you want me to do exactly? You're a man now, you should think your way out of it. I don't know. <sighs> when you are doing busy enjoying the normal. <sighs> Anita. Why are you here? Do you want to break my home? 
Well, I'm tired of playing hide and seek games with the father of my unborn child. All right? Since you've decided not to get me a decent apartment where both of us can be having our private moments, I've decided to keep coming here for as long as God knows. It's okay. You know what? I will make money available for you, okay? So you rent and furnish a decent apartment. But please, please, you shouldn't cross the boundary. I don't have issues with boundaries, as long as you respect mine. So if you don't have issues with boundaries, what are you doing in my house? I want to know your plans for our baby, my child. What plans are you talking about? Huh? You already said you're not going to abort the baby, so what plans are you talking about? And I also don't want to be a baby mama or a single mother. Meaning? Meaning, you must make me your wife. You must marry me. You're a clown. You must be joking. <laughs> I wish. I wish I was joking. But guess what? You are the joker. <laughs> anyway, money for my apartment. Be fast about it. Just call me random like that now. Eh? What is it? Uh, yes, I will come. I've told you before, I will. Yes, I will come to your place after work. Uh, okay, just cook anything. Uh, yes, anything I will eat. Alright? I'll take care of yourself. I'll see you. I'll see you later. Bye. Game played out as planned. And I was so ignorant of the whole thing. <sighs> Poor me. Poor me. Joe, listen to me. You are the last person I want to be with right now. Just go, please. I've been calling you and you're not picking up your calls. I had to find you by all means. Oh. You know, Sharon has got some explanations to do. I mean, why would she tell you to come pay me a visit in her own house? Why? You know, one thing that you don't know is that I care so much about you, babe. I heard everything, how your ex-husband was treating you badly and let her send you packing. How you lost your job because you were lacking concentration due to marriage crisis. I understand. And I need you to know that I've come to lend you a helping hand. And today, I've come to give you a shoulder that you can lay on. I just need you to please give me a chance to prove to you how a woman should be treated right. What it means to be loved properly. Give me a chance to treat you like a queen that you are. Please, that's all that I ask of you. Even if I'm going to accept your proposal, it can't be now. Joel, I need time to recuperate. I need to think, I need to be sure of what I want. I don't, I don't want to make the same mistake I made before. Just give me some time. I promise I, I will call you back and give you an answer. I just need some space, please. 
If that's what you want, that's okay. Yes, that is what I want. Babe, this is the sum of 500,000 naira and I wanted to have it. Yeah, I'm not trying to buy your love or something, but I just want to make sure that you're fine and okay for as long as it takes you to heal completely. If you want more, I'll gladly send you more. Just let me know. I want you to know that I'm always on the call. Please have this. Thank you very much, Joel. Thank you for everything. Your love, your support, your concern. I really appreciate it. And just so you know, you're a good man. But I'm sorry I can't accept this. I can't take it. Why can't you take the money? I mean, you need this money, if not for anything, have a son to take care of. Yes. And not just that, you have your personal need to attend to as well. I know, I know, I know I need the money, but not that badly. At least I'm living in my friend's house and I'm comfortable, we are good. So, Injida, what is wrong with accepting a free will gift from an honest, pure heart? Okay, I'll make you understand this. Please do. A gift has a way of compromising one's decision. I won't be able to say no to you from my heart. So I'll suggest you keep the money. If I ever have need for money, I'll let you know. Thank you. I just want you to know that someone cares so much about you. Someone loves and cherishes you so much. Someone is willing to go to the moon and come back just to have you. And I am that one person. Jill, I need you to know that I love you so much. You're a lady that any man in his right senses would want to have. Your elegance is personified. You are amazing. Please, give me a chance. I love you. Goodbye. Sharon, this wasn't right. It wasn't one bit. How could you have done something like that? I ran to you for safety and you were exposing me to a total stranger. Why? I'm sorry. I, I thought I was doing the right thing. By exposing me to someone I, um, I, I, I do not know? For all I know, this, 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 this guy might just want to have his way with me and then run up to the next girl, leaving me in heartbreak. On I thought it would help you forget James and his wicked deed towards you. But it's okay. If you don't want him around, I will stop him from coming here. Better. I don't want him to come here again. Fine. Meanwhile, you need to take fuel inside. Get dressed. I am taking us out for dinner. <gasps> mm -hmm. That is some joke. Are you serious? I'm serious. Baba, did you hear that? Auntie says she wants to take us out, so we have to. Uh oh, -uh, don't do that. We're going out. You need to be happy. Okay. So give Auntie some horn. <laughs> 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 
He went to Zoha. That's his own way of saying thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, please stop. Stop. I thought you said it's wrong for one to be eating and talk while eating. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love those smiles in her face. <laughs> and I'm so happy that I was able to achieve my aim. My big one is out. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now that you have achieved your aim, can I eat in peace? No. One more story to go. Uh, I'm, uh, no, no, no. Just no, just no, no I am. Um, this is the day I met this couple, newly wedded wife. She refused to cook at home because um, the Oz was. <sighs> the, the reason I brought you in is because I want you to be happy. I, I don't like the way you cry every day. And I, I'm bringing you here, it's not for you to cry. And I don't want you to start crying now. Please, just take off your mind. Forget him. I can't forget him. He means everything to me. He's he's the only man who makes me feel like a woman. I I can't see myself loving another man. I can't. They say time is the greatest healer. You will heal over time. I know you will. You you will forget him soon. I just wanted to give it time. Give it time, Angie Day. You will get over it. Please. I don't like to ever see you like this. Okay? Angie Day. Let's eat. No, I don't want to tell you anymore, so let's eat. Eat your food. Mm. Hey, Oh. Oh, God, we chilled. Welcome, man. How are you? Welcome. Thank you very much. How was work today? Oh, work is great. Great. This one, you know, something like this. What is the problem? I'm fine, nothing. Not good. Okay. Yeah. Your, your wife is in the kitchen. She's making your favorite. You love it. It doesn't look cheerful all this while. Why is his face like that? <laughs> Why are you going to go for him? Baby. Your food is served. I am not hungry. Baby, what do you mean you're not hungry? Did you eat outside? I said, I am not hungry. Baby, you have to eat. Baby, this is past 10 p.m. You should be hungry. What do you mean? Anita. I am not a kid, okay? I understand what it means for one to be hungry. And I said, I am not hungry. All right. Sit yourself. going on? Why? Why was his face like that? I believe this boy has other plans towards his marriage. But every plan he has must come under my legs. What? This marriage must work. No spirit. No power. Nothing will make this marriage you not know, to work. He wants to ruin all my plans. Every of my plans, he wants to do it. 
Oga, get it into your head that this marriage or work is going to work. If I have you, who cares? Marriage is going to work. What? Nonsense. What? Nonsense. Franny face, who are you quarreling with? Because I quarrel with the whole world. Me, I don't care. I must go back and let her know. I want me to go back to poverty. I'm going to work. Ibuchimo, Ibuchi, Ibuchanyan Jamso, I got a watcher is on the call. Holy Lana Candies. I am a Rakuma who am a Raku. Can he come get it? You have to stop this. You have to be strong for your son. He's looking up to you for survival. Huh? This is not the end of the road for you, my sister. Mm. He will still pass this phase. Please, I beg of you. Please, be strong. You can only survive if you're strong for yourself. Thank you. Get up. Your son just woke up. He needs your ascension, please. Get up, get up, get up. Please get up. Please. Is it that cannot wait till I come back? Hey, Nim, hmm? there is fire on the mountain. Ah. I need urgent solution. If I may be Narim, it's you. Urgent on what? You remember that time we used to sweep that compound together? Mm. There's a certain man you told me someone took you to when your boss refused to pay you your money. Yes. And immediately that person took you to that place. Your boss paid you all your money the same day. Exactly. I need you to take me there. Yes. Is your boss owing you? Yes. Hey, can you believe since I started working for these people, they have only paid me once. I need you to take me there so that they can pay me all my money. I need money. Mm. If it may be my mom, mom. If someone that knows the place doesn't take you there, you will never locate it on your own. No description can help you. Hey. Yeah. Since I have you now, no problem. I'm going to work at Raka. Take me now. Take me. Biko. When? Today. Now, 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 now. Mbao. No. It can't be now. I have things to attend to. Uh, let's leave it till tomorrow. I told you it's urgent. Mm -mm. I told you I need your help. <laughs> so you cannot do it for me today? No, it's not possible. No problem. Now, since you cannot do it for a friend, one single favor I'm asking you for. Then I told no more panda, you have things to attend to. What are you attending to that is more important than your friend? No problem. I'll help you tomorrow. I'll take you to the man tomorrow. I promise. So you mean in that you are not taking me? Not today, tomorrow. 
Bello, bello. Bye, bye, oh. Okay, um, what do you mean, Mr. James? Uh, like, <clears throat> when a woman is pregnant. Okay. Is it even possible to run a DNA test to ascertain the true paternity of the baby? Okay, um, so how old is the pregnancy? Say four months. Uh, yes, of course. Even from 12 weeks, if you want to be sure you're responsible for the pregnancy, um, we'll take a blood sample from the pregnant mother okay. and yours to check swab and that is just it. Oh, really? Yes. So it's possible? 100%. Oh, thank you very much. That means I have to come back. I'll come back with the lady in question, okay? This, you see this, is very important to me. Really? Yes. Thank you very much. Doctor. God bless you. I'll be back. God bless you, James. Have a nice day. Anything? Not really. Uh, sweetheart. Yes, baby. I want you to meet someone. I yes, uh, a very close friend of mine. A friend? Yes. Very close one. Bosom friend. Uh, he's in distress. Yes. The wife is in labor. Oh, really? Uh, yes, and um, there are complications. Mm. The doctor said she needs blood donor. And I thought about it. I said, maybe you could help. Yeah, please, don't say no, please. Baby. Yes. Okay, please. fine. Since you said he's your bosom friend, maybe I could help. You know, anything for you, you know, Thank because you. I love you. Thank you very much. Okay, fine. Let me go and change into something very nice. Oh, no, 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 you're fine. Okay, it's an emergency. You have to go to the hospital right now. Ah. Yes. Okay, fine. Let me at least tell mom that we are going out. It's an emergency. Sweetheart, don't you get it? Okay. Don't worry, we'll be back soon. All right? All right. Anything for love, right? Anything for love. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm. All right. Shall baby. we? Okay. Right. Mama, please take care of the house. We'll be back soon. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Baby. Yes. What about the woman in labor? Uh, actually, she is in the intensive care unit. And the doctor is trying to see if your blood matches with hers. Okay, I think I need to see her. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, no problem. We'll see her, okay? Like I said, she's in the intensive care unit right now. Okay. Yeah. Um, what about her husband? He's your friend and mm. he's the main reason why we are here. Uh, yeah, he should be around. Is yes, around? it's around this vicinity. Let me call it. Oh, okay. Better. That reminds me. Let me just try and call it. Hello? <laughs> Where are you? Oh, really? Ah, no problem now. Ah, no, no problem. Do your thing. Do your thing. My wife is here even. Yeah, she would like to see you. <laughs> All right. We'll be waiting. Okay, take care. I told you, you went to get something. Oh, okay. Yes, Let's wait it. now. We'll soon be back. Okay. Hi. Oh, what is all this one now? Eh? We've been here for over how many hours now? Take James. it easy now. Are you sure you're not playing any, any mind games here? 
Because I don't even understand anymore. Eh? Where is your friend? Where is the wife? I don't even know. What is going on? Ah, nothing is going on. Let's just be patient, okay? I'm not patient. longer comfortable, eh? Young lady, why do you lie to this young man that you are pregnant when you know that you are not pregnant? Uh, 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 what is going on here? I don't understand. Pregnancy test. But, but that, that, that is not why we are here. I... What do you think that I used the blood sample I collected from you for? It's for the woman in labor. I was to donate blood to her. How? Uh, I think this result, it's not mine. Maybe it's one of, the, one of your patients, right? Actually, I ran a pregnancy test on you, and this confirmed that you are not pregnant. Doctor, I, I, she's not pregnant. Well, actually, Mr. James, she has been deceiving you all this while. Uh, no. She's not pregnant. I said it. No, baby, baby. I knew it. Baby, listen. Baby, I... I knew it. Baby, I'm sorry. Baby, it's the handbook of my mother. She caused it. I, I, I wound her. I told her that this thing would bring our legs outside. She refused. I don't know why. Why now? That was not what they sent you to do. I am sorry. I swear. How far? How far now? Mama, we did it. <laughs> why are you dancing? Why are you dancing? So he did it. Eh? He did it. Without protection. Mama, and he poured everything inside of her. He eh? opened it well for eh? him to do it. Eh, but Mama, eh, I, I'm not sure I'm, I, I'm on my ovulation. Don't worry. You are in your ovulation. Mama, I said I'm not sure. Can you keep quiet? So long as he has done it, and this God that is in heaven that is about to bring me out of this, my poverty condition, poverty level, poverty poor, you are ovulating. God we do it. Amen. Ah, people don't have womb, they get pregnant. It's true. And you, you have everything. And you, a young man did it, you're a young woman. Why would not you be pregnant? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. God has done it already. You see God. You see God. Don't play with God. Yeah, God. So <laughs> long as he did it and poured everything. Mm -hmm. I hope he did not shake your body no, when he was doing it. He opened it well. Oh, God has done it already. Oh. Hello, Nne. How are you? Mama, I am not fine. Oh, Guinea, what happened? Mama, my period just started this morning. Back to sender, but Jesus! Oh, Mama, it's not about back to sender something here. <laughs> Mama, what are we going to do? I, I just told you now. You see, I told you. I told you I was ovulating, and now this. And you're here shouting back to sender. Who will back to sender help? Mama, I, I don't like this, so. And you're giving yourself unnecessary hope all this while. It's okay. So, where are you now? I'm in my school hostel. Start coming to my working place immediately. Don't waste time. You know? Okay, I'm coming. What is all this now? What is all this? Thank God our plan worked. The bottom line is, did you or did you not sleep with him? Because this golden opportunity, we must not let it slide. Okay, Mama, fine. How are we going to achieve this? How? One month from now, tell him you're pregnant. Mama? This is not a mama matter. Ha -ha. Tell him you're pregnant. Go Gohomere. At least long as he put it there, he, he, tell him anything, he will, he will believe you. Okay, so what if he finds out? How is he going to find out? Is he a doctor? Mama, like as the, as the long run, maybe five to six months later, he will be expecting my, my, my tummy to start growing. Big. That shouldn't be your problem. I don't must have achieved our aim. See, you will tell him you're not ready to abort your baby. 
and he should rent an apartment for you because you're not going to give birth to your school lunch. Mwewuche. Yes. You make him start visiting your apartment from time to time. And as long as he's visiting, you keep seducing him. Make sure he touches you at every point in time he comes, especially during your ovulation. Before you know it, he will end up making you pregnant for real. Oh, Chike Jemi, ye nine. Mama, eh? it is very bad. Hey, Mama, see if I am not alone. Who are you? Ah, you know it, you know it, you know it. Before you know it, you're already Madam of the house. Mama, hmm? I am bad, man. I am bad. Eh, that's why I'm your mother. This <laughs> opportunity, we, we, we just. Baby, please, I beg you with everything you hold so sacred. Forgive me. I, I didn't mean for it to, to happen this way. Baby, please. Baby. You deceived me. It's not me, it's my mother. It's not me. Your mother deceived me. Yes, she deceived you. I will struggle you to death. <laughs> James, 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 James. Stop, 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 stop. If there is anything you want to do to her, please take her out of my office and do it out there, not in my office. I don't want you to commit murder in my office. Please. Please. Don't, don't even do it outside. Don't do it at all. Meet me downstairs. Eh? Yeah. You are crazy. Uncle, what is it? Hey, hey, listen to me. If you ever try to call me your in-law again, if I hear uncle from your mouth, I will slap your dirty teeth. Who is your, your in-law? Have you ever paid anyone's bread price in your family before? Uncle, what you know, be now? Calm down. I don't know what is going on here. Tell her what's going on. I'll come up your mouth and speak. If I slap your teeth, come on, move from the Tell me what happened. Mama, he deceived me to go into the hospital with him. He lied to me. Oh. He said, when we got there, they took my, my blood sample. And the next thing, they, they ran a pregnancy test. And I... Don't worry, by the time I finish with you, by the time I finish with you, you will not open us to attack Basa. What is wrong with you? You! You are evil woman! Oh, you think you are the only one that knows how to deceive people? Right? You brought in your, your stupid daughter to set her as a bait for me, to seduce me, right? I said that's not enough. You ask her to lie to me that she's pregnant when she's not. Mm. Eh? This one, what is wrong with you? I'm asking, what is wrong with you? What has my wife done to you? You made me drive my beautiful wife out of this home. An innocent woman. She brought you out of the streets, gave you a job, fed you, everything she did for you, and all you could do is be about with evil. Why? I'm asking you. Someone that you as a mother? Eh? You are your stupid daughter. Okay, you know what? Just wait for me. I'll be right back. Eh? You're still here, baby. Girl. Baby, oh, baby, oh, which one is baby? Baby, baby, let's Honey, Oga, Oga, my Oga. Wait for me, wait for me. Oh. Terrorists, get your fucking back out of this house right now. And the body's on right now. Move out of my house, right? Cross your neck, oh. Come on, take it, take it back. You take it, take it back. Come on. Never, never in your life allow me to come to this house again. Yes, sir. If you do, I will kill you first before I kill them. Rubbish. Hey, what? Maybe I was that. Oga, Oga, sorry, oh, because sorry, oh, ma. Baby, you may be back with him, maybe you are not going. Go now, go now. I'm going to say you go. I'm going to go to my house. You take me. You make me go to place. I drove your wife out of my house because of you. I didn't see this one coming. I didn't plan it like this now. Why? 
Why did you even allow him to go carry you to that hospital? Mama, leave that one. You you, you not blame me. Or you not blame me. It's love. It's love that took me there. Because there's this way my husband used to talk to me that he used to turn my, my whole body. So I didn't even know when I followed him. I even told him, let us tell you. He said, no, that we'll be back soon. Yeah, but Mama, what are we going to do now? Where are we going from here? You don't know where you came from. And my brother all look like you're asking me where we go. So you don't know where you came from. Uh, if I slap you, your sense will come back to your head. Uh, hey, we should be thanking God, Sha, that we came out with our lives. What if we had brought cutlass and butchered us into pieces inside this compound? Hey, is it not better than going back to poverty? Poverty is not better. You see why I say you should let me buy you a car. If not, I would have put this inside the car. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Baby, Anya, go. Go now, baby, Anya, go. baby, please go. now. Oh. Will she ever forgive me? My beautiful wife. The best gift God ever gave to me. Very loving, very caring, very understanding. The only mistake she made was to bring in an expensive nanny. God, God, if you unite my wife and I again, I promise I will serve you forever. I promise I will never match with her again. I promise to love her forever. We we'll treat her right. Please, God. Oh, God. God. Jewel, listen. I don't like it when you come here to pay me a visit. For goodness sake, this is not my house. This is my friend's house. What do you want people to think when they see you sneaking in here at odd hours to come see me? What do you want them to think of us? I'm sorry, my love. I am not your love. Stop. You don't pick my calls when I call you. That's why, because if you do, then I can invite you out. I am still a married woman. I belong to someone else. The man that maltreated you and sent you packing. The man that replaced you with your nanny's daughter. Is that the man you're proud of? Come on, baby, you deserve someone better. The last time I checked, we are not divorced. He hasn't returned my bride price to my people. We're not doing anything bad. I just want to keep you company. I just want to make sure that you're fine in this period of separation from work and from him. Come on, loosen up. Okay, so what do you want here today? Good question. I want to take you and your baby out. Yeah. Um, I guess you have been indoors for money tonight. They in, they're out. So it's about time to go club. Let me take you to somewhere nice that you can have fun. What do you think? Please don't say no. Ah, 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 ah,
Hi, Hi, sir. How are you? Um, good. How are you? <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you dare open that hole on your face, your cold mouth, to mention my name again. Do not try it ever again. Rubbish. Oh, Sharon, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. Please, um, where's my wife? Are you asking me? Yes, where's my wife? I'm supposed to be asking you that question. Please, can you just tell me where she is? I need to talk to her, please. As you can see, she no longer works here. Someone else has replaced her. Okay? I don't know where your wife is. Or better still, call her on the phone. I, I, uh, I really want to talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. Besides, I've been calling her. She's not taking her calls. Can't you see you're distracting us? Please, am I your wife's keeper? Go, go as well and look for your wife now. Why are you stressing me? <sighs> ah, oh, that's gone now. Eh? Go! Vamos, get out! Shh, shh, um, shh. Go, please, can you pass me that phone without uh, calling me? I need to know how it is. Thank you so much. Thank you for today. I am super duper grateful. You're welcome, darling. Um, I have to go inside now. Okay. All right. Thank you. It's just a harmless hug. Come on. Okay. Okay. Come here. Come here. So you are the one for licking with my wife, right? I'm asking you! I beg your pardon. I don't throw my pardon to pigs like you. Really? So you are the one sleeping with my wife? How shameless can you be? Huh? Did you say she's married? Oh, really? Oh, you didn't say she's carrying a baby? Are you this shameless to have been sleeping with another man's wife? Are you not ashamed of yourself? <laughs> oh, so you are the senseless man that doesn't know the value of what he has. Listen to me, young man. It is said that when a child sits on air, it falls back at him and their body fastest first. Next time you stop me to talk about rubbish like this, 
I'll make sure I rock you up. Excuse me. You know what? You should thank your girl that I have a woman like her. You shameless man. the senseless man that doesn't know the value of what he has. Listen to me, young man. It is said that when a child speaks on air, it falls back at him and their body falls first. Next time you stop me to talk about rubbish like this, I'll make sure I rock you up. God. Lord, have mercy on me, please. Have mercy on me. Joel is a very nice man. He would definitely treat a woman better than James. No. Maybe he's actually playing games just to get to my pants. Maybe if he succeeds in sleeping with me, he will show his true colors. Or maybe he truly loves me that much. But I can't leave James, at least not now. I still love him. I will just take my time with Joel. I won't accept his proposal anytime soon. Time, they say, reveals every hidden thing. And time also heals every wound. Yes. Yes, who's there? Who's there? Me is who? Who is? Listen, Joel, if this is you, I'm tired of getting very uncomfortable with this your constant distance. What is it? It's not Joel. Can you please just open up, please? Jitena. What are you doing here? How did you find me here? Your heart truly really knows where it belongs. It will surely find its way through. Oh. Sweetheart, all I need is for you to give me your ears, okay? I'm not going to take much time. If what I'm going to say doesn't make sense, I promise I'll walk through the door and I will never come back. And what exactly do you want me to hear? I am asking you, James, what do you want me to hear? The way you were cheating on me with my nanny's daughter? Or the fact that you forced me into a, a compulsory polygamous marriage? Or the way you hit me because of the lies she told you without even hearing from me. What exactly do you want me to hear? What I am asking you, James, tell me what. I I know it's a it's enough for you to get mad at me, but there's a reason I came to you today. Like I said, all I need is for you to give me your ears, okay? And I will explain everything. Everything you need to hear. I will explain to you, please. Just give me your ears. 
honestly I never I, I was oblivious of her evil plans she, she beats me think that it's not worth getting married to you she, she made me feel you're lazy she, she made me feel everything you ever did that made me unhappy as a result of your laziness she made me feel you weren't well raised I, I didn't see it coming I, I didn't know she, she was planning something negative and before I knew it she introduced her daughter into our house she she made me ask you to leave the house she instigated her daughter to seduce me and i feel woefully for it i'm not proud about it but that was exactly what happened and oh, sweetheart you know what she even went as far as asking the daughter to tell me she was pregnant for me can you listen to yourself speak Did you hear the nonsense you just vomited? A grown man was cajoled into doing this. Listen to yourself. Honey, it was all my fault. I, I made a mistake. And I'm here to right the wrongs. She, 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 she did a lot. I, I, I just can't keep explaining. Like I told you, she instigated her daughter to lie that she's pregnant for me. But there's good news with her. Sweetheart, I'm glad to announce to you that Anita is not pregnant for your husband. She's not pregnant for me. It was all a plan. And I just want to let you know that since you left the house, I've been missing you. I never took off the ready ring. Look, see, you see that, sweetheart? And I have driven them out of the house. The intruder is out of the house to create to create chance for the reoccupants to come in. Honey, please come back home. Please. Can't you feel the hands of me? Get out this moment. No. James was here. James? Yes. I wouldn't know how he located this place, but he was here. It, it was a shock to me. He was the last person I was expecting to see today. Well, he actually came to the office the other day, but I walked him out. He did? Yes, he did. But I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want you to start thinking about him. 
The truth is I I can't stop thinking about him. Sharon, I still love James. I can't stop loving him. So, what is he you came to do? Obviously, the pregnancy thing has all been a lie. He found out that she was never pregnant. <laughs> he threw her out of the house alongside her mother. Mm -hmm. And he wants me to come back home. Okay. 